Oh, I'll just say twin one and twin two. Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome to the stream. I'm hiding. I'm hiding under the stream. Um, welcome to the stream. It's been a while since we streamed Kingdom Hearts. Three, excuse me, 358 over two days. In, in the interim, we have done several other streams. I'm going to start to try s streaming randomly and more. Uh, maybe some Crusader Kings, maybe some whatever I'm feeling, you know? Hmm. Hell yeah. This... Give me a second. Let me just put this over here. Anyways, um, so, welcome. We also, important note, the VODs for Chain of Memories have finally been posted. I figured out the reason I didn't post them was because sometimes I wasn't sure if I uploaded a video or not, and so I would... Uh, this was when... Twitch VODs lasted for two weeks, so sometimes I would post the same VOD twice, or I would upload the same VOD twice, and I just, like, for some reason, the act of trying to figure out which two VODs were the same was too much for me, and I just never posted them. But I did it, because I was running out of activities to do. <laughs> um, so those are up now, and you can watch them, they're all on a beautiful playlist, they all have little names, so you can, like... Yeah, and uh, Liz is watching all of them at work, and uh, <laughs> it's extremely amusing to me to hear all the insights that she gains as she watches them. It is hilarious rewatching such a time capsule from only a year ago, but so much has happened within a year. <laughs> I know, right? What a what a fucking crazy time. Though. I was I was starting to realize I was like, this is before Matt and I got new cars. This is before Matt changed jobs. This is before um dennis got a job i think it was before like a lot of things so i was like damn a lot has happened in within the last year <laughs> dennis when did you start your job because i i told uh kenny d cool beans that you started a new job or like uh, dennis is doing well at his job and she was like dennis has a job and i was like um february okay i was like it, it yeah. feels like you've been at that job longer because you've been like just slaying so hard i'm like dennis has been there forever because he's just slaying <laughs> um but yeah um, so those are up. Watch them. Like them. Subscribe. Um, so yeah, that's currently the I think we do have enough followers for the affiliate program. I just don't stream enough per month because we do these long three hour streams four four times a month, but I need to get like, what was it, seven stream seven times a month or something. Yeah. Which is a fucking weird number. Like that's not divisible by four weeks, but whatever. Well, I think that, that like <clears throat> maybe someone was like, Oh, we should do eight but then we're like we don't wanna have like force someone to be like if they can't miss every other week like you know twice a week that's true like, it's like hey plan for two times a week but you know sometimes or also like sometimes a sunday falls and like you know a certain day falls on one month and not on the other sure. you know? yeah that's very true that's very true so i am going to be doing more random streams um just like short random streams like i did a random one was that tuesday or monday i don't remember that was monday yeah, I did a random stream on Monday. Um, so I just I was just looking at my tags, and it's English, unhinged, LGBTQIA+, chill, nice, silly, and wholesome. I love those. I love. That we, we need we need strong curse language. We <laughs> added do have as a tag. we do have a content classification: significant True. profanity or vulgarity. But I want that as a tag. Swearing. <laughs> We love swearing. to swear. Um, this <laughs> Pro is, swearing. This ain't TikTok. I I think I've learned recently, based on what content creators are not saying, is that I think Hitler is a banned word from the TikTok creator content program. And I'm like, that's Damn. a lot. That's a lot that that's banned. Um, so they say they say like, Schmittler, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I mean, really... any way you can get around it, like that's powerful. I'm just like, what? Well, people are gonna communicate. Well, yeah. Sometimes censoring certain words, I'm like, people are gonna communicate it anyway. So they're like, yeah, they're like German mustache not. man, and I'm, and I'm like, that's how they say it. I'm like, that's hilarious. I don't understand what's the reason for censoring that. Like, that's a person in history that we should remember know. and know. That way, no one becomes like them again. You I'm, know, I'm, or you could yeah. stop people that become like exactly. them. Exactly. So. And to be like, <sighs> and they're not con like if they were like this person is Hitler, I'd be like, okay, well maybe you know I can see like why. Yeah. Like, but they're like literally going, in <laughs> Germany, big mustache man rose to power this way, and I'm like, why do we have to censor that? Like that's his name. Like, also like Wait. other people have that name. Like yeah, 
I mean, especially in history beforehand, like, you know... Hitler or Adolf? Adolf. Adolf. Well, I think they're allowed to say Adolf. I don't think they're allowed to say Hitler. Mm. I do I do have someone in uh, my ancestry named Adolf, I believe. But also it's 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 the TikTok not Hitler. like corporation running agency that's banning the the word. I think so cuz like okay. Here's, the only way here's here's a little TikTok knowledge that I gained from uh Dennis and I's mutual friend who did work as part or like uh, they did content via the TikTok program because, okay, mm-hmm. there have been universities who have done studies that if you swear, your content shows up on people's page. Like, it's not, you don't get shadow banned. If you say fuck, shit, piss, it will show up on people's pages. But if you are part of the TikTok, like, uh, creator program where they pay, where TikTok the company pays you to make content, if you swear or you say words on their banned list, then they, like, won't monetize your content. Um, Hmm. So like that's where it is. It's not like your your content won't get banned if you say bad words, but you won't get money for it. Like from TikTok specifically, because um, mm-hmm. that's what that's what they said. They were like it was super obnoxious, like to keep track of everything. Like I wasn't allowed to say. Um, so anyways, I'm like uh, that that must be on the list. There's no other reason why th- they wouldn't say it. Um, because, like, people Fast are like, oh, I think people are dumb because, like, it's a conspiracy theory. It's a superstition that if you swear, your content won't get shown. And I'm like, I, I mean, no, no, just... no, I think they lose mo- you lose money if you're part of this p- specific yeah. TikTok creation yeah. program. Um, so if you see people who are censoring themselves, it's probably because they're part of that. Um, versus, like, me. That are they, I, they want to be part of it. Yeah, exactly. They want to be part of it. They're, that's how they're making money. Uh, for our friend, like, that's how they made money for a year. Um, and they would have lost money. They would have lost their livelihood if they said Hitler, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, that's a whole in- – that's interesting. And I think it's I, I, I think it's <laughs> stupid because people just find ways around it. Like, they'll say corn instead of porn. Or they'll say essay instead of sexual assault. I don't know. And it means the same thing. Anyways, that's yeah, a it, whole – it doesn't really it's, – it's, it's, it's like avoiding the issue without – yeah, and I think there's. I'm I'm curious, like, if there's something to be said about, like, you know, if you say unaligned instead of die, does that change how people interpret it, or are they just interpreting it the same way? Does it make it less impactful than it should be? There's a lot there, and um, we can say whatever you want here, uh, except I mean, there's certain things we probably shouldn't say, like, we should make death threats or uh, slurs. We shouldn't say slurs except for Peter Pan. Aww. I'm just kidding. Aww. <laughs> oh no slurs mm. I was watching some uh, a, a Twitch uh, stream and they had like a slur catcher in their discord and like somebody like I just hear silence in the pit goes oh oh it caught me what did I say and they went oh yeah that's a slur in UK English and then the chat was like what did you say and they were like yeah we're gonna say the slur again I have no idea what they said but I was like that's that's <laughs> wild that they have a slur catcher in their discord I mean I think that's a good idea if you have like a big platform like that but yeah and wild. I think it's kind of interesting of like like I want it <clears throat> I want certain languages like I'm, I'm curious about like how certain languages will translate what is important slurs and whatnot like mm. you know? I think they only have like an English slur catcher, but mm-hmm. it would catch like you know. Sorry, sh- now I'm just picturing like a, a child catcher. <laughs> it's like I'm the slur catcher. <laughs> that's all. I'm that's I, I that's my favorite character from Chitty Chitty. This Chitty is Bang my Bang. box of slurs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Don't what, look inside. What do you think he uses to like entice the slurs? <laughs> This is bad. I'm gonna move Ooh. on. Yeah, um, I, 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 I was thinking of some answers, but I'm like, you know what? We're gonna, we're not, we're we, gonna can, we can move on. We're going to the spreadsheet. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. Okay, I think that this is where we're at. I get, it doesn't look like. Oh look, I. I might have missed some. Like I might have fucked some shit up. Cause I feel like we got further than this. Didn't we get to why the sun sets red? And I thought there were more notes. No. Sh- oh, are you sh- streaming in Discord? I am, but I'm not streaming the spreadsheet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because so, it just means Disney Interactive. Yeah, that's that's my DS. It's closed right now. Okay. Okay. Um, so here are characters. We have Roxas, Axel, and Sheon. They are three best friends. Uh, they she- are- yes. 
they are in a cult called Organization 13, but they don't know it's a cult. Um, but Organization 13 is made up of people called nobodies, who are people who don't have hearts. Uh, but they do have minds bodies. and s- bodies and souls. Um, well, I, they know they have, but they, they don't know they have souls. That's true. They also might have hearts because they clearly are feeling emotions, which is funny. Well, the question is, do you need a heart to feel emotions? I think you do. I think that that's the premise of the yeah, universe. Yeah, but like, who said that, you know? You're right. I don't know who said that. I mean, we do know from... We do know from... Uh, wait, what the fuck? We also know that emotion plus memory plus question mark, question mark, question mark equals heart. We learned that from Kingdom Hearts 1. And remember that um, mm-hmm. emotion is spiders and memory is flowers. Because like if you if you think about it, like who are the characters made out of hearts? Those aren't aren't necessarily that expressive either. We don't that I don't remember where we got the knowledge that life equals heart, soul, and body. Um, and a nobody is a soul and a body, and a heartless is a heart. Okay. Um, but these these nobodies, Roxas, Axel, and Shion, as well as all the members of Organization Thirteen, who you can see on the right hand side of the board, those are all special nobodies who retain their memories and sentience because they're powerful or whatever and they look like normal guys um they claim that they don't have emotions they're just acting on their memories but roxas in his diary has described feeling things well i would, I would also argue that I mean, some of them might not have emotions that's true some of them might not have emotions it might be a big thing that most nobodies don't that is true but like um but they do kind of act like they have emotions like they'll laugh and um yeah. look look stern or whatever but Roxas has, uh, in his diary, described uh, feeling like there is a tightness in his chest when he learns his friend died. And, like, I, I just think that's so funny because, like, a lot of my therapy sessions, I'm like, I'm sad. And then my therapist is like, how do you feel that in your body? And I'm like, I feel like my chest is really tight. And and I feel I feel kind of choked up. And I'm like, damn it, I'm just, I'm just Roxas right now. Um, so that's really funny to me. Um, your therapist is like, that doesn't mean anything to me. She does not say that. <laughs> well, if I said that's just like Roxas to me, I think she would go, I don't know what that means, which would be really funny. Um, <laughs> I'm a therapist. I'm going to invalidate your ideas. That's what I do, right? That's what. That's the healthy thing. Well, I think thing she I would ask, who is Roxas? But I haven't said, whoa, just like Roxas. Because <laughs> uh, that'd be funny. Um yeah, so so uh, Shion, we got Shion, Axel, and Roxas. I believe from the last time, and I, I must have lost my notes um, because it is why the sun sets red, and Shion has like run away, and um, they don't know where she is. And Roxas is like, "We need to find her. We need to get her back." But Zemnis is like, "I don't give a shit. Let her let her run away." Um, and now Roxas is like, "What the fuck?" Um. So that's what's happening. It seems like something weird is going on with that. Um, I'll probably watch the last VOD and like update because I'm pretty sure I lost uh, cells in my spreadsheet, which is so sad. That's so sad, but we can manually put it back in there. Um, but I think it's time to play the game now. Let's go. Oh. Bye, bye, bye. Let me make sure I have the right mouse setting. Whoa. Was that your phone? My love? Uh, yeah, that was my phone. It was so powerful. Day 256 is news. So, yes, that is the day after Why the Sun Sets Red. We definitely lost, like, a bunch of days because I don't have time skip written down. Unless there just was a time skip and, like, I. That's a giant time skip. That there was a time skip. But. What if it what if it wasn't a time skip, but instead a time soup? That's nothing. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Yeah. Matt, how dare you share your ideas right now? The sequel? Let's see. We have the last diary entry is on day it two died. twenty-five, which I don't have any notes for. Okay, now I'm really worried about Shion. I told Axel, but all he said was she'll get through it. I don't remember what happened. Uh, 
Shion and Axel have been uh, being kind of weird towards each other. Okay, then we have the 255, which was yesterday. And as I had ice cream with Axel after work today, but Shion didn't show. Axel said she got sent on an important mission, but he wouldn't look at me when he said it. I was wondering what's wrong with Shion all the time, but now that I stopped and think about it, Axel's not himself either. So there's something weird going on. Um, I do like our main character has the least information out of our three. Um, that's funny to me, but also a great trope. Um, let's talk to everybody. Remember your voices. Let's start with Luxord. Who is Liz? I forgot. Uh, guys, we ship our fish. Action. Here. How about this for a change of pace? Super Saiyan is something you can run in the Cabo Saga that I have. Okay. Can I tell me when you're done? Did I do it already? I wanna ask. Clock. He didn't give me a diamond. He just gave me combo tech. Okay, I did. I'll show you when you're done. Okay. Fuck it. Oh, give, fuck. Me, give me an aspirin. Okay. <laughs> I'll go make you an aspirin out of a combo tech plus plus and a diamond. Sick, that's what I wanted you to make. <laughs> that's how you do those. Um, yeah. That's what aspirin's made out of, guys. The more you know. <laughs> Diamonds and, and tech. Instead of modafone. It was combo tech plus plus and diamond, it's this? Combo, yeah. I think so. Is this what I want to spend my combo tech plus plus on? Was it plus plus or was it? Yeah, it was plus plus. Okay. I'll just do it. He he wants that aspirin. He really yeah. wants and need that aspirin. He's yeah. not going to the side. That's fine. That's important. What it was? Block jump. Or it was auto dodge. I guess it's sometimes like I would like a percentage, please. Uh, sorry, I'm moving this just in case you know people are chatting. Okay, well, Luxord. Ch chatting. Uh, 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 it looks like you were successful. Thanks for my aspirin. You you won you won. Here's here's a prize, I guess. Thank you. But I get silver. Okay. Awesome. Shiny. Hey, I gave you a shiny. New backdrop. You're behind out on those missions, you slacker. Mean. Hi, Demix. Demix, would you? Where could she have gone? She was gonna like listen to like my tunes. Like she usually passes out doing it, but like. You know, she at least acts like she cares. I got a level tripler? Fuck yeah. Does that triple your current level? No. It what? The What's the I've... fucking point? I put it triples the levels I put in it. Oh. So. I'm trying to find all the levels that aren't currently in a thing of the robber. In a dick my dick a dick a dick. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Oh, man. Yippee! Yeah, I, I'll try the auto dodge. Why not? So this little flashing updated is also showing up on my OBS on my other monitor, and it's like really distressing. I mean, it's not distressing, but like it's unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> final limit. Oh wait, there's another thing. Fuck. I know you said final limit, but I heard final limit. Find <laughs> a limit. Why haven't you found a limit yet? Well, I guess you. Do you like it. lemon squares? You may be a. <laughs> you may be bisexual. <laughs> no wait, wasn't it like you may be a a, a lesbian? No, it was bisexuals like lemon squares. I thought it was a, it was I like it was lesbian. No, no, because no, because I would like lemon squares in Steam. No, I was, you're a bisexual I was a female. woman. 
Oh, bisexual oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because bisexual by himself is not... I haven't I found as many of those anymore. I haven't found... Like, there was a trend where if you looked up certain sexuality starter pack, it was just, like, very generic things. Like, or, like, or extremely specific to a particular person who made it. They're, like, bisexual starter pack. You play Steam. You like lemon squares. You wear striped shirts. And I'm like, girl, I think that you like Steam, lemon squares, and wear shi striped shirts, and you are bisexual. I don't think that these are correlated. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I feel like, is, it, is this, is, you know, I feel like it's almost the objective of someone trying to, like, convince someone else that they're bisexual. Be like, hey, you, 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 you do these things. <laughs> Sometimes there weirdly is a correlation between like certain identities and like liking things, which sometimes oh. does make sense, sometimes it doesn't. But other, but like lemon squares, who doesn't like a good lemon? <laughs> yeah, square? lemon squares are yeah. great. I love me a good lemon mm, square. Lemon oh. square. <laughs> Stage two, selected. Don't worry, that's, don't, that's a normal. Thing. Wow, that's a normal. Your thing DS you can do on is the so DS. high tech yeah, and fancy. It's crazy that I can do that. That's that's crazy, bro. You're, oh, sorry. Nope. My love. Your new missions. <laughs> focused. Okay, you good, comrade? <laughs> I went a bit too hard there. Oh, no. I'm going to start with this one. Excuse me. Bless you. Ooh, glide! Give me the money. Oh. Oh. Get in there. I don't know what leveling up the glide does. Like that's what like, it's not like I, like, drop out of glide or anything. Oh. Time to kill. Oh. I don't remember how to play this. Ow, my bones. I think your friend went missing and then your job was, like... And never mind, that's a normal having a job. Something horrible happens in your life and your job's like, okay. Do your job. And you're like, I'm really distressed. I was like, okay. That's not my problem. <laughs> I, go, I go by the um, you know, belief that asking for days off is more like a warning to your company that you're taking a day off more than asking for permission. You know, that's the that's more than your I what? Go. I missed what you said. So like, you know, if you're like, oh hey, I'm I need these, I'm going to take, applying for PTO instead of I visualize it more of instead of asking for permission, it's giving the company a warning, being like, I'm taking these days off. Um, you know. I just learned that I think I have unlimited sick days, so that's good. I'm not sure though. It just says you can take sick days with manager's approval. And I'm like, oh. I mean, I've been able to take as many sick days as I needed to. I've taken quite a lot of sick days this year. And then my, ma my work gets mad if, like, I don't take a sick day because they're like, why weren't you answering your email? And I'm like, well, I was doing the bare minimum, but I had a fucking migraine. And they're like, you should have answered your emails. And I'm like, okay. Oh. My manager last week was like, have you been, like, doing good? And I'm like, no. She's like, huh, <laughs> why? And I'm like, you. Well, partially her. Uh, any any silver lining uh, is uh, I did go to a, my, my work I work at a I work at a national lab and I did go to a meeting about the climate uh, projects which I have heard don't do well under certain administrations but some of the seasoned scientists were like just keep doing what you're doing but change the title of the project yeah, and dude, I was like that's awesome let's go they were like just say it's uh it's for weather. It's not climate, it's weather. And I guess that works. Ah, oh, fuck, I gotta kill these bitches. I both love kill. and hate weather. You both love and hate what? That, 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 that is all this I know, right? Mm. 
When did this guy get so much armor? What the f he has all these little healer bitches. And they keep healing themselves. Okay, wait, maybe I need to... Let me wait for them to heal each other. Fuck you! They did an arrow slight! How dare... Okay, let me, let me... No, stop. Stop. Thank little you. squamps. Oh my god, did more just spawn? Dude, what the fuck? Hello? <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> I just love how quickly you're like, you're like what the fuck like like these scales. No that? no 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 no. No. <laughs> shield themselves. Come. Beautiful. Come come. I've been listening to that all day. Come come. <laughs> are you keeping the tally? Like are you actually? I haven't yet, but I'm like, cause I I feel like I do need to I need to start Roxas. making a tally. Okay. But like the Foxes. first day that I made it, we like, like I think Matt, Dennis, and I all went into a fury of just spamming the button a bunch of times. So there's no no count possible for that. <laughs> but I, I will love try. Um, like Liz linked the time of when the cum button was developed, and I just start <laughs> yelling like an excitement. It's very iconic. I feel like also when when Axel kills uh, Vixen, when I make that sound bite, will be pretty iconic when that one's made. Because I feel like we lost our shit when that happened, we have and we were just it. dying laughing a bunch. I thought that this mission wouldn't be as crazy, but like it's insane. No, Roxas, Roxas, Roxas. Like this bitch has so much fucking armor. He is a solid so armor. Deep. He's an absolute unit. He is a unit of a lad. Oh fuck. Do you think that chemistry teachers made that and physics teachers made that bit about like units? They're like, oh, it's an absolute unit. <laughs> no, no, I feel like they'd be like, no, that, that means nothing. <laughs> that, that's not correct. <laughs> I feel like. Oh my god, look at. Fuck. I've lost my life. Uh, sorry. Oh, my. oh. Ooh. I actually want to not walk on. Oh, Lord. Oh, he felt. Fuck. Uh. Smack him around a bit. He went ye. He needs to be yorted. He does. I don't think we have the access to these magics. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, the like slow stampede waddle forward <laughs> is really a strange animation looking. I don't know what triggers him falling over, and then he falls over in such a little time, and then he freaking hits me. Because his little Ow! spiral dude daddy, blah blah blah. What is the what is the speech bar dot dot it dot? It means I can't cast magic. It means I'm silent. Oh, like in D and D. &D That's &D &D. such a weird indication for that. I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Dennis and Dennis. Dungeons Dun Dun and Dragons. It's actually short for Dennis and Dennis. Ah, oh, I never know. I thought about naming a Discord channel that, it, but um, this is a bit too narcissistic. <laughs> you should have made it that. He would never. You're yeah. almost there. I hope this is the last one. It's definitely not. This is taking forever. Yeah, okay. I don't think I'll this like This guy King definitely of sucks. <laughs> but this isn't cards! Yes, thank god this isn't cards. And us struggling to do math. What's A plus A plus three? God, that was 15, so uh, painful. I to love re -plot. like as soon as I said that I was like nineteen, but me in the past was like so fried. I just couldn't <laughs> think of an answer. The funny thing that that whole bit like started halfway through the stream, and so it was like we were just so done with said cards and trying to figure it out. Because also that part when you asked A plus A plus three, you're trying to fight. 
Jafar. Yeah. Close. And so it was, we were, yeah, Jaclose, Jaclose. using the Jaclose deck. And Fuck. it was just you, like, and then short struggling game. over and over again, trying to use, trying to fight Jafar, because that, that battle took us, like, over two streams. Because we didn't, we finished it, we finished the game not even defeating Jafar, because we're like, we just can't, we can't do it anymore tonight. And then we, we came back the next sucked. week. Yeah, it was it was. I the levels on that rewatching that gave me like anxiety. <laughs> I was like, no. Because I'm like, I kind of want to replay it. Um, I want to replay like Chain of Memories, but like as Chain of Memories, you know, like not not like re Chain of Memories, like Chain of Memories, because it looks like a fucking creepy pasta. Oh, you mean the actual like the Game Boy game. version, yeah, the pixel, game Boy pixel, version. pixel, pixel it version. Looks, it just has such a more horrid aura to it. I feel that. And I was it's like, definitely like an 8-bit coded like vibe. Yeah, but I'm also it. like, I never want to play that fucking game again. It was no, not no fun. more cards. <laughs> it was fun occasionally, but the most of the time it was just suffering. Mo like half of the game, most of the time was us struggling to figure out how to use those cards and where to use them and how to make a slight and how to get an arrow slight. I, and... like, I feel like I would have liked the game if maybe there was like a better. U what the fuck? If there was a better UI or something that would be like, oh, like select these, or like you select some cards and then it shows you like what slight they would make or something. Like, that right. would be nice. So I'd be like, oh, I select. Yeah. Anyways, but it doesn't do that. You have to do the fucking math yourself. Yeah. Well, I think kind of, I, I would say watching that game was some of the most entertaining because watching yeah. her struggle was like, yeah. That's so mean. Yeah. Hey, we're doing, we're, we do this for entertainment. That is true. true. We do this for mass entertainment and chaos and suffering. Mostly the suffering on our behalves. But oh my God, we're not done. Okay. We do it for the people. <laughs> we do it for the. Fucking hell! Not one of these big chonks we again. We had to kill him. No other fancy magic you can use to just get um, his ass. I can use Blizzard. That didn't do shit. Yeah, Try it? Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. That missed. And that's all my. Oh, but he's on ground. Mack him. Wonder if there's a stronger. Let me let me look up if there's there's any. Easier, faster way to kill this mother trucker. What? There's a he there's healing bitches here. I'm solid armor, right? Yeah. I think my weapon is just shit or something. I wonder if like I feel like um you hit a certain point in the levels where it like expects you to have the next weapon upgrade, but like oh my god, he, he healed all of the damage. But, like you don't have it yet, and you like aren't capable of getting it. But like you're gonna go soon. Anyways. Oh, okay. So it's it's mainly only rollable, obviously, to his head, which is what you're doing. But when he falls down after a few hits, he will flail on the ground. Take that chance to release a blizzard magic, which will keep him down on the ground longer. That would have been smart and then, to know. Yeah. I don't have any more. Let me see if I have. It rises with both no, arms. you bitch! I only have potion. Well, that's yeah, that's mainly enough. the only yeah. only strategy is mainly just hit him physically on his head, and then when he falls over, hit he him with blizzard. So he is a little happy, strong yeah. lad. He's a strapping lad. As I've been playing more of that Baba Yaga game, and uh, oh? I found the cheat code menu, and now I'm just building houses, and I'm happy. Hell yeah! I love. I found a fucking uh, Steam article that was like, "I'm going to teach you how to cast a hex in the game." You could click Control Shift J, and it opens the debuff menu. Damn. And I was like, "That sounds like me being like, I'm casting a spell." Crunchifies the game. <laughs> Casts the spell, Wait, scunches up. a roller coaster tycoon uh, civilian. Hold up, I need to cast a spell real quick. Spells! Oh, you scunched it. Oh, crunchy. My coworkers today were talking about Yakima, and I remember that there's a meme about Yakima where it's like, oh fuck, I'm out of cures! Oh uh, fuck! Weird Yakima meme. 
Uh, it was a Yakima meme, and it was like uh, a Lion King thing where it's like, oh, where the light touches the, your kingdom, son. Oh, so hit him with a freeze while you can. I don't can. have any. Yeah. I have to kill these guys. Maybe if I, I think I'm going to kill these loud mouths, then I'm just going to fucking leave. Can you get out of the corner? God. And, but the meme I could find of like this, uh, you can anywhere the light touches is your kingdom. Oh my god! Did he revive all he his health? He completely revived. Look, just that let me, is let me kill. incredibly frustrating. Okay, we're just gonna. Okay, we're done. I'm leaving. This is horrible. <laughs> Goodbye. You can leave. You, you could just leave. leave. I need to cast the spell again. You can that leave. That was. <laughs> That was, wow. Yeah, that was painful. <laughs> but you believe, Billy, so you believe. You can dream if you just believe. Um, but I sent, like, this meme, and it was like, everywhere the light touches your kingdom. And then Simba's like, Where, what's that? It's dark over there. And then uh, Sim or Mufasa's like, that is Yakima. You must never go there. But the only version hey. I could find of the meme, it was, like, so fucking crunchy. My, the best version I've seen that is, like, this is... This is Seattle. Everything the light touches, you can hear. What's that? That's Tacoma. We don't talk about the show. <laughs> we don't talk about Tacoma. <laughs> Axel could have shown up at least. He's not I would here. apologize to Tacoma people, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the music won't play. I did see somebody say, mm. like, uh, Kyle McGuire. Oh, shit. Oh, angsty Axel. He's so mean. Uh, I saw somebody say, like, oh, I knew some people, or I heard some people who went to high school with Kyle McLaughlin, and the actor said he was kind of mean. And then somebody was like, well, they lived in, they went, he he grew up in Yakima, so like that, I think that explains it. Yeah. Good job. I've never, Damn. I don't recall ever, maybe I did go to Yakima, but I don't remember going there, but I've heard bad things about have, it. Have I, you ever been to Yakima, uh, spiritually? No. I have traveled you to you Yakima know, many times. Things, thinking that means things, and then you just end up confusing the world. Sometimes Matt says that, but what he really means is pseudoscientifically. Uh, speaking of pseudoscience, one time in high school, we did a unit on uh, pseudoscience, and my pseudoscience I randomly got assigned was phrenology. Um, and so I, I made like a little phrenology like worksheet, and then there were two fraternal twins. Twin A and Twin B. Twin A was in the class that I was in. Twin B was not, like, this was the IB program. Twin B was not in the IB program. But like, I, I did, they were like, you need to compare us. Um, and like, I was like writing down, I was like, okay, well, Twin B is smarter than Twin A. And Twin A was genuinely getting really upset. And I was like, girl, this is pseudoscience. This isn't real. <laughs> she was like, no! <laughs> I was like, this isn't real, bestie! It's okay! Wait, for us little dum-dums who are artists, what, could you explain what pseudoscience is? Pseudoscience is, uh, are sciences that are not real. Like, they're not based in, let me look up the official definition. They're, um, they're not based on facts and logic. Okay, uh, so they're like largely only hypothesis. A collection style. of beliefs Ugh. or practices mistakenly regarded as being based on scientific method. Um, yeah. So, so like, like, yeah, for a good example <laughs> would be eugenics. Would be eugenics? Yeah. I mean, mm. I'm trying to find like, because phrenology is one of them, which is like the shape of your skull determines your personality. That is not based in science. Um, it's based in racism. It's based in racism. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I shouldn't laugh so hard at that, but it, it <laughs> very much is. It's just see. like. Like, uh, let's see, this is like, like, acupuncture and chiropractory are kind of pseudoscience. They're Tarot kind of... cards, maybe? <laughs> yeah, let's see, I'm also seeing, like, I wouldn't count those as pseudoscience. let me see, it says, this is alternative medicine, so I think yeah. some of the, um, some of the theories are oh, based in the pseudoscience. Um... I'm trying to come. These, some of these are just uh, like like a polygraph, a, a truth test. That's kind of pseudoscience. This is vaccines it, it, are an example of pseudoscience. Let's not look at this. Let's go. Let's list the topics. So maybe 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 anti-vaccine. Uh, maybe that uh, is what they meant. Because I know I know certain I, elements of certain fields, like again, chiropractic, have elements of pseudoscience in them. Where it's like eh, this oh. isn't really based off of 
Yeah, a lot of like you know, Chiropractor is a good example. There's a lot of real science, but then there's a lot of of the stuff they take in to apply the same logic to something else that is very much not doesn't actually have any. Astrology backing. is considered a pseudoscience. Because they did a lot of measurement of like you know the the movement. Some of these like are that. just conspiracy theories. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're, sometimes they're the same. Which is true. Mm -hmm. Let's see, GMO skepticism, feng shui. Minimum parking requirements. <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? System for assigning an optimal number of parking spaces to a given land use is characterized as pseudoscience by UCLA planning professor Donald Shoup, especially as practiced by the Institute of Transportation Engineers. He argues that ITE's calculations are arcane, arcane, overly specific, and typically based on minimal data and approximations that cannot be widely applied to other businesses. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh... Like, okay, a acupuncture is another one, I guess. Animal magnetism. Aromatherapy. Like, like I think some of these are like, well, you know, the, um, the placebo effect is very powerful. Yeah. I'm really on B. Biorhythm. Biological terrain assessment. Chromatherapy, colon cleansing. Yum. Yeah. Um, detoxification. Like, you need to cleanse your body of toxins. That's a pseudoscience. <laughs> Earthing therapy. I, I just want to look at this now. Because <laughs> some of these are like denial of real science. A lot of them are. Like, this is germ theory denial. There's like flat earth. Leaky gut syndrome. Ooh. Jilly juice. What? Hello? Hello? What? A potentially dangerous fermented drink that has been claimed to treat a variety of medical conditions. Oh, yeah. Jilly juice? Jilly juice? Contains solely of water, salt, and room temperature fermented cabbage or kale. Ooh, God. Mm. I mean, like, uh, Don't do so. That. Like, a lot so, of the certain types of medicine are just, like, absolute madness. So, so kimchi? So uh, I drink kimchi, <laughs> is what I'm hearing, and it will cure me of everything. Hold up, I need to see it. <laughs> Kimchi's not listed on this page. What is because, like, well, different well, about kimchi, it? Well, kimchi is fermented cabbage, but with a lot of other spices, so if I take some kimchi juice, throw, and it's also got salt already, and it's already in water, I just take the kimchi juice and drink that, I'm cured! Julie juice That's is a pseudo-medicine pseudo in the form of a fermented drink that falsely claims by its proponents is able to cure an assortment of conditions, including cancer and autism, as well as yeah. regenerate missing limbs, reverse <laughs> the effects of aging, and cure homosexuality! This is why the Koreans look so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's falsely um, claimed to expunge uh, can candida, can candida, a yeast, and parasitic Canada? worms. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. We're getting rid of it. Gets rid of Canada. No, yeah, it gets rid of Canada. <laughs> Candida, the yeast. No, Canada. It's the recipe for jelly. Okay, here it is. The recipe for jelly juice includes two cups water, a tablespoon of salt, and two cups cabbage or kale. The recipe calls for the ingredients to be thoroughly pureed in a blender, pour into a glass jar, cover with a cheese cloth, and let to ferment at room temperature for three days. Yeah, that's kimchi. You let it ferment at room temp. Don't you put a let me you Sorry, put guys. you put kimchi in a jar and you usually you don't like freeze it or anything but like yeah you put it like room temperature in like a coolish room how to I make. think mm -hmm. but there's like a lot of the spices and things so at least it would taste better but you soak it in brine yeah which is salt I should I should well okay get yeah me next time we're at the store mm. <laughs> well brine is like okay Okay, maybe this isn't enough salt then. You're supposed to <laughs> you're supposed to drink sixteen cups a day. I'm eating so much kimchi, guys. <laughs> and then you won't have autism. <laughs> I will never get autism or cancer, guys. Yeah. And if I cut off a limb, I'm gonna grow more limbs. Yeah, it's exactly. Be great. <laughs> drink okay, effect here's drinking jelly juice is wholly ineffective in treating any ailment and can cause extreme dehydration and potentially fatal salt intoxication <laughs> <laughs> poor fermentation of the drink could also lead to bad effects that's wild that is honestly insane 
a oil pole. But I love it. Which is like where you um you hold oil in your mouth for twenty minutes to pull huh? the toxins out of your mouth. It doesn't do anything. Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound like it's gonna do anything for you. A reiki, like energy. It's gonna healing. make your mouth slimy. Tin foil hat is on this list. My god, no, the aliens. The urine aliens therapy. Drinking either one's own urine or homeopathic potions of urine. Dear awesome. God. Water memory. <laughs> a homeopathic <laughs> theory based on the purported ability of water to retain a memory of substances previously dissolved in it. Oh my god. Not the water theory. <laughs> what? So, guys, we're getting life straws. And... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's also pseudoscientific history, so like, like denial of things that happen, like Holocaust denial. Oh, oh god. Mm -hmm. oh, Wait, Lord. what? I will be right back. I thought this said linguistics. Japanese was a pseudoscience. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it says. It says uh, Japhetic theory, conversion therapy. This is psychology now. Oh wait, EMDR is not- is a pseudoscience? Huh. That's, uh... Wait, I think I have read about that one. That one is too. Hypnosis. Law of Attraction. Phrenology, polygraph. Oh, and then we have my favorite, scientific racism. Okay, there's a lot of pseudosciences. Anyways, I can't remember- I returned. I can't remember any of the other pseudosciences. Hold up. I just saw the word time cube. Time cube? Wait, do you not remember the time, time cube? The following concepts have only a small number of proponents yet have become notable. Time Cube, a website created by Gene Ray in 1907 where he sets out the proposed model of reality, which he calls Time Cube. He suggests that all of modern physics is wrong, and his Time Cube model proposes that each day is really four separate days occurring simultaneously. Wait, have you not seen the Time Cube video? No. What? I don't want to see it. It's... No, no, wait. It's an amazing... I, it's hilarious. Um... Let me okay here. I'm gonna. It's sorry. Me. All of these idiosyncratic ideas are killing me. Because <laughs> I also have poly water, hypothetical polymerized water proposed in the 1960s. It just doesn't exist. Time wave zero. <laughs> Penta water. The claimed acutely induced structural recognition of liquid water into small lived clusters of five molecules each. These don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not I saying. It. I'm not saying I, they don't exist. Wikipedia is saying it doesn't exist. Time. Wikipedia wave... is always right. Wait. Time wave zero. Numerological formula that was invented by psychonaut, psychonaut, Terence McKenna with the help of the hallucinogenic drug, di dimethylpredamine. After experiencing 2012 Doomsday's predictions, he resigned his formula to have a zero point at the same date as the mind. That doesn't make any. It also says, like, people thinking the world was going to end in 2012 is pseudoscience. Wait, Lossomy, La Lossonomy, proposed philosophy and system of claims about physics made by a baseball player. Guys, we're getting. We need to just do a Wikipedia stream. One time, I was on a Wikipedia rabbit hole, and I learned that the Spanish national anthem has no lyrics. Then, it showed up in a trivia game I played the next day. And we won the trivia game. Powerful. So get lost on Wikipedia. Um, uh, Julie, mm -hmm. I feel like you can watch that Time Cube video. How it's, long is it? It's, well, it's technically five minutes, but once you get two minutes in, you'll get the vibe of... Okay. Give me... So, okay, the, okay, the first minute is the guy talking about, like... I need what to the... close my DS real quick. It is the it, it it's an interview with the person with the time cube. He's like, okay, hey, here's the premise, and um, we need to go. We need to go on an excursion, everybody. It uh, is. What the hell is my other? Whoa! Cool stream. Stream is looking really cool. Seeing all that info. <laughs> On tonight's show, the, the wisest, wisest
best man who ever lived. This is so Two crunchy. Girls in oh, this is incredibly Big crunchy. Oh through. lord. Speaking of the show, tonight's show. Wait, I'll, let me man, share it with you guys. Rubik, you remember the time cube? If you've spent any amount of time on the internet, you've probably stumbled across timecube.com. This is a site that explains that there are four different simultaneous 24-hour days within a single rotation of Earth. Can't tell what he's holding. <laughs> I see pixels. Wow, today's outfits oh. are so era. Indeed. <sighs> Christopher Columbus said the Earth was round, not flat. People laughed. Well, Columbus had nothing That's on our next not guest. true, but okay. There are four different simultaneous 24-hour days. The Earth is round. Christopher Columbus was not the person to propose it's it. It's called the Time Cube Principle, and if you laugh at it, you're stupid, evil, and deserve to be is spit it... on publicly. From Atlanta, here to explain the did Time they, Cube. Did they the discover time zones? And the self-proclaimed. <laughs> 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 There's more Welcome than four. Show, Gene. Yeah. Thank you, Martin. So, Gene, you say that I'm stupid because I believe that when the Earth rotates once, there is only one 24-hour day. But your time cube principle disputes this, no? Right. It has uh, four corners. Uh, when it shines at midday, it simultaneously creates a midnight. It's six, when the two majors are okay. going, it creates the two minors of sun. No, it gets that. That's, that's one of my favorite parts. My favorite quarter, quarter of all time. Uh, it's eight. It's eight quarters. Day. Yeah, wait. Hold up. Let me go back. Uh, four corners. <laughs> Uh, when it shines at midday, it's on He has a cube. The cube doesn't have just four corners. No, no, no. Look at that. Okay. Okay. The two okay. majors join right. and increase the two minors of sun up and sun down. And each qu corner quadrant of Earth rotates to its own separate 24 hour days. Well, the Earth, the Earth is a sphere, though. It's not a cube. <laughs> it, it's composed of four quadrant corners. Each corner cut it rotates in four different directions simultaneously toward midday, midnight, sun up and sundown. It rotates those directions simultaneously. Each one of them has its own separate day. Gene, how do you know this? What's your proof, scientifically speaking? Well, here's in the cube. You can see it. You it's can't in the deny cube. that. Any <laughs> academic institution, any professor, ten thousand dollars can't disprove it. They can't disprove it, so they ignore it and run and hide. You're offering ten thousand dollars to anyone who can dispute the time cube principle? Uh, institution or a professor? Not me. If I if I beat you in a debate right now, you're not going to pay me ten thousand. One thousand. One thousand. One thousand. I got I got have my own model of the time cube right here. Where'd you get these things? Like so a magic mountain? Well, they're, is it they're just a, paperweights. You is it just a sphere them. and a cube? They're, they're yeah. just paperweights, but they represent the time cube. But th th this cube, this has this has six sides. A cube has six sides. You say there's four separate days. That <laughs> yeah. doesn't make sense. How can you call a top and bottom a side? You call the top of your bedroom uh -huh. and bottom of your four sides? That's Ooh. dumb. Th that makes oh. a lot of sense. Now, everything, okay. the solar system has a top and bottom, front and back and two sides. Earth has a top and bottom, front and back and two sides. The human has a top and bottom, front and back and two sides. Now, the two human sides? head has four corners, nose, two ears, and a back corner. But it only has a one corner face. Two ears. Huh? Hold up. Nose, two ears. Okay. Nose, Listen. two ears in the back corner. But they don't have a one corner face. It's only one fourth of who they think they are. One corner, but. We're only one fourth of what we think we are? What? <laughs> they go around the whole lifetime the baby, the child, the parent, and the grandparent. Uh -huh. we don't rec baby, child, parent, and grandparent. That's three. Four. Baby, no child, parent, grandparent. Baby one, child two, parent three. What? So you child just child and baby are different. So you become a parent immediately after you're finished. Being I was a child. also like, this is very like, uh, it's not <laughs> binary. It's a quiet, whatever the fuck, forary. Yeah. <laughs> like, like there's no, there's no spectrum here. You're either one of those three or yeah, four. Fuck. Gotcha. You know, I can't help notice that you're wearing a hat that says Time Cube from MIT 2002. Did you, are you a professor at MIT? Did you teach this at MIT? What's the story? No, I lectured up there last year. They, they uh, uh, it was a student thing. They had about 500 students from MIT, Harvard, and many other universities around there. And they treated me like Einstein there. But the school was not sponsored. I had five dollars cash offered. Any professor would come down and explain the time cube and disprove it. But they run and hide. 
It, it cannot, <laughs> it cannot they run and hide. allow this to be known because it contradicts everything that they're teaching. Really? I mean, do you think that this should be taught in schools from kindergarten on up through the, the graduate departments? It, it only, it's the only thing, principal, that has saved humans from self destruction. Like what? East Island, they went and cut the trees like down, they the animals, the chickens, the rats, and then they started practicing cannibalism. Uh -huh. the, the U.S. <laughs> is on the same path. The escalation is amazing. Island. So if we what? start believing in the time cube principle, we're going to resort to cannibalism? That's right, because this is perpetual. Uh -huh. Einstein's in time of linear. Actually, that's not true. It, it's, it's cubic. If you stand he keeps at the point pointing midday, at the top of the cube, point, despite him saying that the top and the bottom don't matter. Don't matter. Don't matter. No, no, they matter. Then it's not size. Get, get this. I like, it's very clear to me, but what, what do you feel but about people the who, who say that you're nuts? There's, that don't believe in the time there's cube eight principle? Corners. Well, really, they, oh. Like I say, they're stupid. And uh -huh. they, in fact, that's evil. Being stupid about it is evil. So, so you think the majority of humanity is stupid? But they're educated stupid. That's what they're taught. The self is the lowest form of humanity. It cannot procreate alone. And the family is a creation body, but not the true body because it do doesn't marry. It's the village that's the true body because it has more five uh -huh. families with a near equal number of both sexes of all ages. But we destroyed all uh -huh. villages. We have communities that are really uh, of strangers <laughs> and who have no allegiance <laughs> obligation to oh, anything oh. or anybody. It really what the fuck are, are we going about into? Being an internet celebrity. I mean, you're, you're huge on the We way. need to ask another well, question. They, uh, it's not a position uh -huh. I wanted. It's something I had to do. Yeah. And and, and no, like I'm not a writer or a speaker, but no writer or speaker understands the uh, time cube. All right. Hey, Gene, <laughs> he is so saying the time cube is about traditional value. Of the time cube <laughs> principle. Thank you. All I right, feel that's like Gene Ray offering up wisdom for the oh ages. My God. I feel like if you asked me what eight plus eight plus theory, three was, I couldn't answer it. Sixty-nine. <laughs> oh. It's amazing how. My God. Is that man still alive? Let's check. It's 2003. This is, uh, this was, I was on pseudoscience. He was Gene Ray. Here's, uh, here's Jilly Juice, by the way. That's how you spell it. Beautiful. It's a, Thank it's you. It's an alliteration. Uh, okay, where's the time cube? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, Otis Eugene, Gene Ray. Commercial, no. Okay. What? What? Jesus, it was here? <laughs> there, are, there are four quadrants. Wait, what? Socrates, Clinton, Einstein, Socrates, and Jesus. Clinton and Einstein? What the hell? <laughs> I'm so confused. It's all about the time <laughs> Oh my god. My brain hurts. <laughs> Oh, he misinterpreted Lord. Epstein. This is not a cube. That's a square, yeah, that's sir. That's a square. That is a square. Yeah, but a square doesn't fit around the Earth. The Earth is a sphere. Are you dumb? <laughs> Ray claimed that his own wisdom is so antiquated, no knowledge that a psychiatrist examining his behavior diagnosed him with schizophrenia. Oh no, this is just oh, incredibly sad. No, this is just incredible. This is a man with like. Yeah. It's oh. incredibly cute. This is just like extremely sad story of a man with extreme mental illness. Oh, oh the mm -hmm. website doesn't exist anymore. Let's see. I hope he made he... a lot of money. I hope I wanna... maybe it's been oh. maybe it's Google been him. Archive Google, way back? Google him. Oh, we should check the way. We're playing Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, we're here to play Kingdom Hearts. No, but... it was 2015. Oh. He died. He was an electrician. Here we go. This is this website's awesome. I gotta say, there is no yeah. human entity. Just <laughs> human humans. <laughs> we are all pixels, Cubeless. guys. <laughs> Cubeless education is feel, a deadly evil. I feel so bad for laughing at this man because he was clearly ravaged by mental illness. Oh, this is so sad. What? I mean, he but also did well enough, and people loved him and celebrated him, and he made a lot of money. Yeah. Man invented the world, word, and calls it God. Man invented word and calls it word God. World. The word world imposed by the academic institution is synonymous with the Matrix. He watched the Matrix and it did something. <laughs> Boulder are most efficient mind enslavers. <laughs> academic free speech is a damn lie. Trying to discuss and debate nature's time. Have 
here's the thing. And your evil teachers here's the will thing. not allow you. I want to. I want to go back in time, and I want to put. I want to put that good good thigh me, otherwise known as Taylor, in a room with this man, and they would debate <laughs> this forever. Oh my God. I, I don't think so. I think Taylor would just be like. Oh, cool. sorry. You know, we'll just be like, uh, it doesn't. This doesn't. This isn't going. This is like, he, he would be talking in one line, and then it would be suddenly talking about home values, and then wait, what was that about Santa Claus? Santa Claus? Is there a Santa Claus? How sad. Built up a Roman actor. Don't know species of reindeer can fly, but there are three. Hundred thousand feet origins yet to be classified. Okay. <laughs> In the world where Santa doesn't appear to handle Muslim, Hindu, Jewish, and Buddhist children, that reduces the workload to fifteen percent of the total. Three point five children, nine ninety one point eight million homes. One presumes there's at least a good, there is at least one good child in each. Santa has thirty one hours of Christmas to work. Oh, go see this person believes in time zones. Look yeah. Up. Believe. Explain the physics of a god. Okay. This is like Is this, this the physics of a god, Santa? I don't understand because this is like this is like a thought experiment. They are not saying yeah. Santa exists or Santa is a quantum being. Like this is like, this is trying to explain how he could exist. This is how he could exist. And do what he does. And do what he does. The lead pair of reindeer wolf absorb This is something Taylor would write. I loved <laughs> I, I I ran a game where it was supposed to be a hocus pocus thing because I found like a uh I found a RPG for that and then somebody was like I think we should do a competitive tabletop RPG it's like PVP never do a PVP tabletop RPG is its premise it's a bad idea um with random strangers at least anyway so I did this and I gave the witches the powers of lightning Taylor within five minutes calculated how much time it would take for him to use the lightning, assuming it produced this much energy to melt iron bars. And he just figured out he could do it. And I was like, well, you did the physics. Like, Powerful. this yeah. game is stupid. Go ahead. You can, like, there was a lot of shit where, oh, we also discussed could you multicast jump in Dungeons and Dragons? And Taylor calculated that it would only take a few times of multicasting it to break the sound barrier. Oh, and yeah. possibly start going as fast as the speed of light. So I was like, yeah, I don't think you can multi- Based on that, you can't multicast jump. And he was like, aww. <laughs> Anyways, this is something Taylor would, would read um, or write. In conclusion, if Santa did ever deliver presents on Christmas Eve, he's dead now. <laughs> Because of all the force. Because of all the force, he would die. <laughs> Wait, in short, they would burst into flame. Ah, this is so good. I love this. Oh my god. Okay. Belief has no inherent value, but worship of such non value as God equates the non accept. What? Okay. Belief has this. We need a whole murder board for this. <laughs> <laughs> we, a separate murder board for. Um, for Jean time Ray cube. and his theory of the, the time yeah. cube. Yeah, belief has no inherent value. Okay? But the worship of such non-value as God equates to non-acceptance of cubic knowledge. So if you, if you are an atheist, you can accept cubic knowledge. But if you are not an atheist, then you can't accept cubic knowledge. The worship knowledge. of such oh, right non-value as God. <laughs> We're gonna spend like 30 minutes on this. This... That one sentence confused me so much. <laughs> Something about okay, if you believe in God, then so you belief can't... has no inherent belief has no inherent value. Okay, so believing doesn't have value. Yeah. Got it. And if worship you... of such non-value as God. So if you if you believe in God, you can't accept the cubic knowledge. Okay. I think that's what it's saying. And okay. Then it says, I love this. Truth in the highest order of wisdom is a proper noun here. Yep. I can talk with a human for hours about the time cube, and they will agree with every claim I make. Claim I make. Um, okay. But, in but the, at the end, they remark that they believe in non-value belief in the non-value belief God. So they at the end, they'll say, "Well, I believe in God, and I can't accept cubic creation." Or they believe in a God. So I don't think I he's he's putting a, it in the lowercase God and a a. Okay, I believe in a, so so a religious a person. God. So, or, or of a belief system. Read physics. So believing love... in anything else, this... believing in anything else uh, doesn't allow you to believe in the cubic time Because this man read, 
Santa Claus. <laughs> this man read this thing that's like clearly like a a physics somebody with a background in physics making a joke. This is this is the mo again the most Taylor thing I have ever read mm-hmm. about like calculating if Santa was real, how fast would he have to go? He would die. Like that's but, what this but says. Then go, but then go back to but go back to what it says for Santa Claus. No, sorry, the oh. the, the, the but site. But then he says this says, explains the explains physics, the of, physics a god. of God. So of a god of a so god. Okay. Even the belief in Santa Claus so, is is a okay. belief in something so in a god. Okay, so, so belief right, of I'm any back. kind. A belief so therefore you yeah. can't even believe in the cubic knowledge no, no, because that's believe. putting a belief to something. But you know, no, no, you but you know, know yeah. it's not belief if it's true. Okay, like, so you, you know. Believe. Okay, the truth all right. And wisdom, the the cube. You are a slave. Okay. <laughs> we, Insidious we entity. You know, an I, evil which corrupts human now, mental now, ability. Cube, cubism is an art form. I don't know what that cubicism is, an art form. is. Did you see the movie The Matrix? I did. No! A, it is a trans allegory, and I love that for it. Um, word has no inherent value. Okay, so word has no inherent. See, this is like, this is like, let J be a journey, let C be a chance encounter, let F be a farewell. Like, no, this is what I want to do this with this. This man wrote Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> this Hallelujah. is how it all comes back together, guys. This is Kingdom Hearts. Welcome to the Time Cube Why theory. not the Time Kingdom Cube? Heart. I offer... The only reason is educated stupidity. <laughs> you make your interest known. I would demonstrate absolute, unreutable proof of four side ta- simultaneous 24 hour days. Oh in this no! Oh no! Oh. Oh, no! Oh. No, no, no! What is offering? Uh-oh. Offering 20 points for registration if you are not white. What are what are 20 points? 20 points of what? Towards what? It gets, it gets added to your Pac Man score. <laughs> <laughs> It is already evil is that? in that they what? suppress student free speech. Does that mean there's any points? Hello? The, um, the Again, only way to get the Pac Man world record now is by playing more. a perfect game and then uh, applying <laughs> to the evil University of Michigan while black. I'm cute, and dumbass students condone such evil. I need alcohol. You need some joy. I already had a cider. I would, I would, I think we only have one cider left, but I'll take more. He's a doctor. He's a doctor. I don't think he is. Hold up. You have to believe him. He's a doctor. I bestowed upon myself a doctorate of cubism. That's a different man. That is a different man. I am crying because again, this is so sad because this is this wait, is this is a man with guy. Like... Wait, Jolie, look at your your browser scroll bar. Look how small it is. No, on <laughs> look how small it is. This keeps going. Oh my god, above God. Wait, what was the what was the thing that it. are the it. all the way to the bottom? <laughs> all the way to the bottom. There's links. There's oh links all the way at the bottom. Okay. The very last one. Oh my uh, god. All clock. Are you Jewish? The... Are you Jewish? Hello. Where oh my was... god. We are... Which one? Above God? Above God. All clock yeah. faces are wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Sorry, I just want to point out, like, I mean, I used to follow this ASMRS who ended up going very right wing, and I feel like her thought process feels very similar to this, where she just, like, became weirdly racist out of nowhere, and it's just a sign of, like, just completely untreated d- uh, mental illness. So this or, is funny, I mean, but it's also really sad. Yeah. No, it is because I mean, because it could also be. <gasps> oh no! It could be like, a slayer! Oh lord! <laughs> I heard Matt in the background. No. What? Oh my god! Why do you have? What does word mean? Worship of word. Adult As... god. What? What about baby god? <laughs> Wait, does this mean children Why? should worship baby god and adults should worship adult Why god? Why are they showing whatever, f- was it, what's uh, his face, the Greek god Chronos. that eats yeah. his children? Wasn't this in a, I, I love the fact that this was just in a guy's house, like he painted on his walls and like he never really intended anybody to see it, and I think that's yeah. awesome. Um, Brainwash, indoctrinate their children's <laughs> This is made by the same guy. I thought that said meatballs. Education curse. <laughs> Children are taught evil. Bible Again, writers. it's it's just so sad. I mean, it's terrifying to think because also, Wait, like, what? yeah, it can. One day is evil. Wait, 
Yeah, 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 because it's four simultaneous days. No, no, this is a different site. Wait, no! read that. I want to no! see that again. No, no, no. Oh, no! no! <laughs> the two, the four the racial sex components <laughs> of the two sex pole hemispheres. <laughs> Oh my god, this poor man. <laughs> May he rest music in peace. Of curved sphere could be audible on Earth simultaneously to every human ear? Oh, what? <laughs> this is so wait, scroll up, scroll you up. You are stupid and up, evil. Scroll up. Scroll uh, up. Sorry. <laughs> the simultaneous four human races debunks a god for every any race. What? what? Simultaneous four. You know, the four races. Oh my god. I wonder actually you know what he identifies as the four races. He identifies uh, Indian he white, white, puts Asian, them there. And black. <laughs> they represent the four corners of the time cube. Do you think Indian India. means from India or like Native American? Oh, definitely you know, Native American. Both. I was I was Maybe. assuming like a child that he meant Indians from India. I think so. Sorry, it, Sorry, it this occurred is to nothing. me. I think that I think that right wingers need to start saying racial slop. Slop. They oh shouldn't. God. They shouldn't say that. Another no. finger on the monkey's paw curls. <laughs> okay. Well, we got some anti-Semitism here too. Oh, and that's Great. it. Brown University has banned nature's okay. harmonic I'm time surprised cube that he, I'm surprised that he you... doesn't consider Jews a separate race. No, true. no, go back, go back, go that. back to the first, go back to the first one. The, the first, is... the first, uh, the, are you Jewish? <laughs> I don't want to click on this! <laughs> Dude, your background check guy is going to be going through being like, what the Anyone fuck have you been researching? that Jesus and his Jewish father had something to do with my birth is a damn evil liar. What the fuck? Um... <laughs> That's it. That's all it says. This That's is the whole all... thing. That's. I am not Jewish. Neither was my mother or father. Um. Um. And his Jewish father. Yeah. Jesus. Is, is he talking about? Um, he's he's Joseph? trying to. No, he he's trying God? to talk about God. He's trying to talk about God. Dude, just say you're an atheist. I feel so. I feel. No, he's not atheist. He's a I cubist. don't think he is atheist. No he's plant nor animal speaks word. This is getting worse. Uh, yeah. uh, public yeah, warning. Did... I want to see the public warning. <laughs> he did learn. What is um... what is above God? Did what we all? What the fuck is Earthlink.net? Did... did we already wait, cover we, above we, God? Wait, yeah, no, we've been we on above phone. God. Can we do all clock faces? Wait, are wrong? Um, a yeah, million yeah, yeah. hits and be seen counter died. That might mean that the plugin he was using died. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, we wanted to see all clock faces. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Done it twice. <sighs> this reminds me of the time. This... Okay. I'm before... sorry we've derailed our, uh, to our chat. I'm sorry we've derailed. This is the oh, whole so site. Just... This is it. What is this time? Cu he's trying to say it's the time cube. Copyright. That's a clock. Oh, oh, he's saying there's 16 hours. Yeah, because it's not. I love, I love, I, I feel like something that I need to know is like, I mean, he learned HTML. Word and like, is Trojan horse. And like he drew like, I, I love this little like diagram he made. Like this is powerful. Like I don't think he made that. He hired someone to make this. That or sixteenth cube, cube don't, divinity. Don't most clocks have four quadrants? If you draw four quadrants yep. on a clock. Yeah. Are you dumb? But three is not divisible by four. Yeah. Well, that's not that's not allowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you do those quadrants into quad. Like, Wait, what is like the last thing that is said before? It's time these... cube, not time squared. Oh, I'd love to hear this this very mentally well man. <laughs> oh, oh thank God. no. Uh, Wait, can you go back to the, the original? Okay, we don't get to hear his and go up Greenwich a little. Time. Greenwich time is a lie. Your midday is someone else's midnight, someone else's sundown, even someone else's sun up. Do you know that time yeah. is simultaneous to four quarter square? Four days of four times to get to the rest. You are educated, stupid, and un unable to know nature's four day time cube creation. I'm yeah, confused so if, he's saying, zones... if he's saying time zones in a different way or if he's saying that. No, no, time zones don't exist. 
Is he also just calling the corners Jesus, Einstein, Clinton, <laughs> and Socrates? Yeah. I'm confused. He's saying, like, don't, God, believing Wait, in God. there's a diagram? Down, 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 down. Matt, Matt, <laughs> Matt, Matt, you can tell Matt's interested in getting, <laughs> getting I... assertive. Yeah, this one? Okay. The wisest human I will give. No. He's moved. He's changed it to a thousand dollars. I love how this, well, this has is, been it, it, typed it, up, printed out, scanned in, and yep. then posted on the website. I yep. mean, that's the most two thousand thing I could think of. Um, I also love that he has all these quotes, and they're just quotes from him. Yeah. <laughs> Gene Ray, he's the only person who follows unfit. This. Unfit to live on Earth. Ignorance of four-day harmonic cube nature indicates humans are unfit to live on Earth. Well, thank you. Man, this really started with, um, I can't, talking about high school wait, and how wait, I did phrenology oh, oh, on two wait, fraternal wait, twins. Wait, 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 16 space days demonstrates proof of four days simultaneously to Earth within one rotation. The academia created one day Greenwich time is bastardly queer and dooms for the nature to hell. A 24-hour day bastardly is gay. Bastardly queer. <laughs> the 24-hour day is owned by the LGBTQs. Grin Greenwich, Greenwich is queer. You heard it here, guys. You heard it here, guys. If you believe in the 24-hour day, you're gay. We're all gay. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my god. This reminds me, I feel like we should do, or I would like to do a stream where you find, we should play Hypno Space all along. Because it's basically this, except less slurs. And less insanity. Truth about but Santa like, Claus debunks Santa Claus. I don't, God, Dennis <laughs> from Santa. Yeah. Were uh, you there when I found that one website? It's like um, it's there's a um, there's a medieval fair incarnation, and their website has like it's been updated, but it looks like a website from the two thousands. And it oh yeah, I remember of, that. I I spent like an hour like just clicking through this website. It was one of the happiest experiences of like. Not my life, but it was it was a highlight of that month. Oh, my life. Of just clicking, because it was, like, awesome, because, like, they they still have events, but you have to mail them a check. And, yeah. And, like, they have been, and then they update the website with how many slots are left when they get your check the next business day. They update the HTML, and I'm like, that's fucking awesome. I love this. Um, well, I think it was, like, you know, they're like, oh, man, you could hire an a, a web developer and be like, that's expensive, and yeah. this is kind of, it was working, and you but don't know how much. It's basically, like, one guy who just, like, was obsessed with the idea. I think his wife is, or I, his wife is a Boeing, like, works for Boeing, and I, my theory is that she just went, okay, honey, I'll sponsor you to do this thing, and he just slayed. He just made this medieval fair, and he must update the web website himself. I think he's getting older and looking for someone to take over. Um, but I hope they never change that website until the earth stops spinning because I love it so fucking much. Um, and it's like this website except with, uh, sorry, I just Bless saw you. this. Um, adult worship is an evil adult scam. Burn the Bible. Wait, but this is getting worse. It's, it's. There's nothing. Thank I give God up. eats child life. So you have to, uh, I give up. I, I'm I'm over it. <laughs> All right. Again, this can is we like, go back to our other yeah. nonsensical thing, let's, which is Kingdom Hearts? Our no. fun nonsensical thing. All of a sudden, Kingdom Hearts makes a whole fucking lot of sense, huh? It does. At um, least it makes me feel things. So Hypnospace Outlaw is a game, uh, and hold up, I want to show it real quick because I think it'd be fun. I think it would be fun to play it. Um, but it takes place in an alternate reality where um, uh, people uh, use the internet while they're sleeping. And the whole game is like you just clicking through these like GeoCities um, links and like getting story from it. And like you're like a moderator. Uh, and there's like a really fun story being told. But it really, it really simulates like going on like old websites and just clicking through like like we just did. Except, um, yeah. Anyways, it's it's an awesome game. I've seen people play it. Um, it's a lot of reading. Uh, but if if you want to play this game, it has got great music. It's it's awesome. You can get viruses <laughs> in the game, not in real oh life. Oh my god. Um. I 
I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's just it's just a cool, like, story experience. I don't know how much it is, but I would highly recommend it from the playthroughs that I've seen of it. It's just a really unique concept, and I think it would be fun to play that at some point. Um, or we could just go through real old websites, because you can get basically a very similar experience. But instead, we're going to play Kingdom Hearts. Oh, my God. No. This guy was made to go to Sunday school and resented his parents ever since. I, yeah, this is, just, again, just a portrait of a man with horrible mental illness. I can't remember. I used Is everyone else hearing the weird stuff going on with Joey's mic? Fuck, not again. I think yeah, I've rolled over my, my wire too many times. Ooh, it's getting real dicey. I hope it's fine. Is it good? Uh, try talking a bit. Bop, 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 bop. There you go. I had to spin it. I was gonna say I was I like, probably... I, sh I was, I wasn't sure if it was just me. Okay, thank but you. But also, for I, me. I, I tried listening. I tried listening on the stream and it didn't sound that bad on the stream, which is why I thought it was my headset. Okay, weird. Hmm. All right. Let's... It sounds like network issues. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I followed an ASMRist, and she used to do really creative, like, ASMR. Oh, really like, Zigbar is here! Zigbar! And it was like, uh, uh, I, I, uh... Uh, I tried... you're, you're still streaming your browser to the Oh, Discord. sorry. And it was like, uh, Alien gives essential worker brain cleanse during COVID. Oh, I love like, a brain cleanse. I was like, that's awesome, I love it. And they were just kind of weird ASMR, and like, they were really creative, or she did a lot of historical ones, where she picked like a historical yeah, figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but then, I'm pretty sure she had a mental breakdown, and now her content is just horribly it's, hateful. It's true. Joe, that your mic is breaking. Fuck! Okay. I'm gonna unplug it. It's fine. Oh. It's near. It's oh. still okay. Hello? Hello? Uh, is that okay, it's sounding bad? It's sounding bad. And it's oh, fuck. for me too. Everybody okay. sounds fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm think... gonna quit out of Discord and come back and see if that I'm happens. wondering if Discord's having a server issue. Everyone is leaving me. Oh no. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna kill Discord and then open it again. Oh my god, I'm free. No one is here anymore. The whole stream sounds fucked. Does it still sound fucked? Hello? Okay, we all sound fine on the stream. That's wild. Okay. Well, it's just me for now. Hello? Hi! Hello, it seems like... I think we're having network issues. Yeah. Hello! Hey, hello! We're getting DDoS. Okay. Hey. You sound... No. <clears throat> my, my Discord said it had like eight updates. So that could happen to all of Discord. us. Discord is like a network issue then. Yeah. <laughs> Will you be shared uh, to just tweet? No. Fuck. Yeah. Please? No. Never. It was Thank like, you. We, we should all go to the medieval fair, like, uh, this holiday season. So we have to send them a check in the fucking mail. That Wait. Sounds like a scam. Like, I know it's not. It's not like, a scam. Like I've been there. Wait, it, what? You can't. How? If if you like, okay, if you go to this medieval fair, they do um they do like uh, feasts for like the various medieval holidays. Oh and yeah. They, they do one for like Christmas, like every weekend of December, and you mm -hmm. send them a check for like I think it's like fifty dollars for like their four course meal or whatever. But you have oh. to send them a physical check in the mail. Oh. I, mean, I don't like trust that. Them, you know? They don't have. 
I don't have Venmo. Do you think that this old 80-year-old man has Venmo? <laughs> yeah. Who hasn't, who his website is made in just pure HTML and like uses the same template that he made in like 1997? Damn. He does not have Venmo. <laughs> I mean, I still think we should do our, at least our pub crawl yes! this, so. this holiday, which I already have like a weekend. I have like one weekend available. <laughs> okay, Slay, well that's the one. Keep it open. It's like the f well, uh, calendar. Also, it's like the first full weekend of December. Okay. So it's like the 7th oh, and 8th. Yeah. Well, so we still got four weeks till then. I've been so stressed about everything else that's happening on the earth that I haven't been thinking about like holidays, holiday presents for people. Oh, I've hyper fixated on holidays. Man, I've also come to the conclusion that, you know, I should, like, I want to, oh. I, I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I'm, I'm thinking of getting presents for people after uh, the holidays, mm. so that way they're cheaper, and then also I can see what presents people already have. And I kind of like buy. that. Mm. I actually really you like know? that, and I'm kind of like that. I love that. Because, like, you know, to me, the best time I'm not to buy a big, after Christmas. I'm not a big dates person, so, like, if you want to, like, do it after, like, I wouldn't be insulted at all. Yeah. I also don't mind yeah. if you don't give me yeah. anything. Like, I don't give a shit. Yeah. yeah. You know, what, what if we make, um, uh, what's, what's, a, what's the state? Let's make up a holiday on January. Um, New Year's. No, 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 like later <laughs> in January. Martin Luther King Let's Day. Well, I will also be gone in January. Oh, where are you? In, going? like, the end, the, the 20th through the something. I'm going to be going skiing in Canada. Nice. Guys, the time like cube. Like a bougie person. It is the time cube! Oh, God. Alice in Wonderland. It, it's the birth caused of the time a cube. lot of brain damage, isn't it? Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, this I is the ultimate knowledge. I did have to read some conspiracy knowledge. theories for work, um, because our, uh, our, our data pipeline was harvesting from a conspiracy theory news site. I don't think that that was as much brain damage as that website, though, so... Yeah, wasn't that amazing? Like, that was almost like... It was amazing. It, it, there's a lot there, and deeply sad, but also hilarious yeah. and very I mean, problematic. There, yes, very problematic. And there's like a Honestly, clear struggle there. Honestly, surprised there weren't more slurs. Like at the time, that really wasn't. I mean, it was a slur, but people were saying it a lot. You know? Yeah, it was. It was more socially accepted. Like, clear, uh, like okay, not clearly, but like guys, I said that in middle school. You know, I was saying slurs. <laughs> Remember, remember, Matt, that, um, was that Rooster Teeth where they said, oh, I used to say the hard R. No, that was Linus Tech Tips. Oh, it was tip. Linus Tech Tips. Okay, yeah, and he meant the, the, the R word, but everyone thought he was saying, like, the N word. N word hard R. Hard R, and it was like, hello? I have, I have not said that one. Guys, what slurs have you said? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, let's re let's all repeat them on stream. <laughs> all together now. Chat. Are, are we going? Uh, um, <laughs> what order are we going in? Like chronological. Alphabetically Magnitude. or chronological? Chronological. Magnitude. <laughs> Magnitude. Uh, By least to worst or worst to least. Worst first. Okay, worst what... first. No, I feel like I feel like you gotta you gotta build up because if you start with the worst, then everything else loses its impact. Yeah, because you say the worst, and then people are more likely to share, and then people will be like, "Wait, you thought that was worse? Better, better than this?" Never I don't want to do this. <laughs> one time, um, or not one time, but I okay, no, this was one time. You know, in high school where you're reading a lot of like plays. Uh, anyways, in, in my high school, I think it was junior year, maybe it was senior year. No, it was senior year. We read The Raisin in the Sun, which is a um, story, a play about a black family. I don't remember what state they're in. In America. They're in, in America. A, it, that isn't kind to black people. 
yeah, they're in a state that's not kind of black people and like the the rays in the sun oh, is like what happens fair. to a dream that is unfulfilled does it dry up like a raisin in the sun. Anyways, but like they, they do say the N word a lot and our teacher wanted us to read it and the first girl who like like I knew it was coming and, and everyone is white. Or maybe not everyone is white. No one is black. There are there are non white people but no one is black. Yeah. Um North. And I just, I, she's going full speed ahead, and I'm getting so nervous. And she, like, not hesitating, she's doing beautiful line delivery, but I am shaking in my boots. And she gets to that word, she just goes, <laughs> And I was like, okay, that was the only way you could have done it. And then our teacher's like, just say brother instead. And we're like, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyways, that, I, that moment was right here. I hope that she's doing well. I haven't talked to her. I don't know where she is. She's high school. I don't even remember her name. Show me. No, I do remember her name. I was like, show me a picture. Fuck, dude, where is this bitch? The fuck? Anyways, powerful of her because I would have immediately been like, what the fuck do I do? I see the line. It's, you know, I'm gonna have to say it in five minutes, but what the fuck am I supposed to say? Oh my god. Can I get this bitch? Good lord. <laughs> he's just I doing just, his like, little zoomies. This and bitch is gonna die, guys. Don't <laughs> say anything, swear, any slurs or anything. But this fucking bitch. We can swear. We just can't say fucking slurs. whore. Yeah. There's a difference between a maybe you and can a say slurs, but I can. Okay. <laughs> okay, Peter Pan. Slurs you're allowed to say. There's a gal who I follow, and she's black, and she was like, I got banned from Xbox Live from saying the N word. <laughs> That was like, my condolences. That's, that's wild, because what I remember of Xbox Live is that it's a cesspit. Yeah. I don't fucking yeah. know. She says that in a lot and keeps herself a lot, but again, she's allowed to say it because she's black. Oh my god! I can't get this bitch! She hasn't posted in a bit. I think she's having a bad time. Wait, he'll be coming back down soon. Oh, fuck. You're so right. Fuck, dude. So you could just wait fuck, for dude. him. Dude, fuck dudes. Because he's on a circuit. He is he'll on a circuit. He'll be down there and he's... He'll... You know the math better than me. And then and he's gonna come right back up here. There he goes. There you go. Oh my God. This Get sucks. his ass. This sucks. I wish we could, you know, like, Fortnite. Well, 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 well. Oh, I um... I could be the one for your new addiction. It's coming from my head, but I want non-fiction. Fuck. They, uh, unlocked the new super styles in Fortnite today. Oh, for real? For those who celebrate. Do they look good? They look alright. Uh-oh. They're fine. They're not, like... It's all in my head, but I want non-fiction. I don't want the world, but I'll take this city. Who can blame a girl? Call me I'm not pretty. You can sing Hot to Go in Fortnite. Yeah, you can. I'm gonna I get, think like, they should. I think they should let you sing casual they in not Fortnite. Let you sing casual. They should let you sing Good Luck, babe. They should let me sing every chapel. Fuck you. Go away. They should let me sing every chapel. I will never be a for my own concert. Why not? Well, I mean, I would, but it's probably too crowded. Too expensive. You just get uh, sure. fancy tickets. Yeah. That, sounds that sounds expensive. Uh, yeah. You know, expensive is just all about relative, you know? If you compare it to buying the price of a house, it's not that expensive. Yeah, yeah but... Uh, okay. You're right. Sure. I mean... get banned from Club Penguin, but I did get banned I... from Super Secret for talking shit about the staff for not letting me drive, like, you had to buy a membership. Yeah. Fucking hell! And then you could get a car, and then you were supposed
supposed to be able to buy the car, and then I was like, yeah, it sucks that you can't drive the car, and then I got the game. The internet has come too far. We need to return to tradition. And by tradition, I mean Club Penguin. I miss Club Penguin every day. I, um... I, I never had an account, but I, I would, like, go over to my friend's house and play on oh, his fuck. account. That's, that's such a mood. I think it's wild that your parents were like, our child can play these very violent games. Because the thing, Club <laughs> Penguin was online. There could be predators in but Club Penguin. The no. only but predators. You play Team too? Uh, that was significantly later. Oh, okay. Okay, I see their logic. I see their. Vision. The only predators in Half Life Two are AI. Yeah, but there's a, the player. Very, a very different yeah. thing. But they're scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're scary. they're scary, but, but it they could have put you on the server where you can only say fish or whatever. What? Sucks. There, there were certain servers where you could, you could, you couldn't like free chat. You could only select from like a menu, so you could say like, "Hello, would you like to be friends? We should play games together." And like that's all you could say. Like they hmm. would a bunch of free can phrases. You actually had to do that unless you had your parents' permission to chat. Okay. They're pretty good. In their moderation. Big bar is. Webkins was also like, it, like even if you got the free chat feature, it was like super strict about what you could say. And me and my friend, we were always trying to like say stupid shit that was inappropriate. And by that I mean, you know, we were ten, so the inappropriate things we were saying were use toilet paper because that could make it through the filter. We we're like, hey, 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 use toilet paper. Anyways, I feel like that's the most casual thing. I wasn't allowed to do Webkins because you know you had to buy something. You know, yeah. like that's a waste of money. You don't want to. Uh -huh. You don't want to buy the toy for the toy. You want to buy it for a virtual code. That's mm -hmm. that's a waste of money. Versus me that had like so many freaking webkins. I, have, I also had so. Many I had webkins. so many webkins, but like half of them are like just gone. I don't know what happened to them. I my first. I think I, by my bed still. I think I purged all, all my webkins. That's so sad. When, mine are yeah. in a box somewhere in right. an attic. I, I, I know think. you probably mean like purged, as in like. You got rid of them, but I'm also picturing like, oh yeah, I just made <laughs> all, the, all, all walls legal, legal and let's watch them kill each other, you know? <laughs> Wait, do we have to kill them? Perhaps. I want to go home. Yippee! Get schwul. I love to play Lethal Company with everyone here. Ah, oh, yes. When Lizzie gets the windows. Yes. Mm. When I get the all powerful machine. I I haven't been able to play Lethal Company because it's too scary. But I think if it was the four of us I could do it. Yeah, same. What if what if we Jesus, got more this people? Is so sad. Oh, we should if, we got, if, if we got if if we got more Megan people. And, and yeah. Them. Hell yeah. Ax Big Sheon, squad. Axel. Where are you? It's so sad, like the music has been playing. It's just sadness. This is so sad. He's gonna it's fall off. Sadness. We are that making it. the minimum progress. Yippee! Yeah, we did get a bit distracted. Yes. But we had to learn about the time cube. Yeah. Where is that good good timing? Oh, I mean he's he's in another state. Oh, he left already for that? Yeah, he he might be on the plane right now. Oh, good for him. We just haven't seen him for a while. Mm -hmm. I miss him I every him, day. Really? I saw him yesterday. I. <laughs> Good for I don't, you. I don't work at the same company as you guys. Oh well, I thought you were just talking about like who, who, when you saw him recently. I saw him very recently. You know? We haven't seen him on stream recently. Oh well, he, he, we don't invite him to the call, you know. Oh, you mean in the chat? Yeah. Uh, but for, yeah, because he's he used here. to show up in the chat pretty frequently. Quote. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fair, Bestie. Uh, Kenny D. Cool Beans has gotten way more into trivia, so that's why she isn't showing up. Okay, we get to do the story quest now. Oh, he said he said something different. He said much remains to be done. Stay focused. 
We need to restore it. Tell heartless. Let's go. <sighs> and I need to do a Hades stream to Hades two stream because I'm so good at it. Let's go. Let those balloons go. Is it not Halloween anymore? No more spooky season. It's fucking November. Only turkeys and then has the web winter time holidays. Someone at my work said that their co worker started playing Christmas music in their dorm and it was specifically elf music in August. I and respect I was it. Like, that Damn. sounds like hell to me. Maybe this is hell. I mean, I definitely think I did something like that for like a, a couple hours at one point while I was in college. Just because I was like, I'm in sadness. I need happy Christmas but music. Were you subjecting everyone else in your room no. to it? See, that's no. fine. That's acceptable. Maybe my one roommate. But uh, you should have subjected people to it anyways. Cause... But she was she was consensual to it. So. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly yeah. fine. Yeah. It sounded like this coworker was like, whenever I heard elf music, I went into a fight or flight response. So I just <laughs> don't think it was consensual. <laughs> Gotcha. That sounds so painful. <laughs> some people fight, jump off um, planes in order with parachutes in order to, uh, you know, get that fight or flight response. So you know, maybe they wanted that. I don't think that. she was happy about. It. Okay. Uh, no balloons here either. Oh, hot ways. I don't know. I'm talking like this. There's gotta be some explanation. Just so sad. He has no friends. Bug. That's a bug. Heartless. That's a little bean. Oh fuck. Oh, that's not a bean. What the fuck? It's that fucker from before. I also want to do an edit of all the dialogue. Oh fuck, oh, it ate it. it! Oh, I didn't like that. It eats Harless, that was fucked. You know, I think it's interesting that a lot of children's media, the threat towards the main characters is they are going to get eaten. And I'm like, that's so wild. Well, so yeah. visceral. Well, I think there's a thing of like, you know, at, unless at primal it takes place fear in of real children. life. Yeah, that is true. It is primal fear. But if it's real life, it's usually like they're not gonna get a toy or something. You're talking about Krampus. Well, I was gonna say like a primal fear of like kind of children is like, well, like, first well, of thing about like Bluey or prey something. animals. Prey animals just like Bluey. Well, not Bluey. What's what is the Bluey the Australian? Cartoon? Yeah, but like, what's the conflict in Bluey? It's not they're gonna get eaten. <laughs> I was gonna say I was like I'm pretty sure Bluey doesn't threaten to eat. No, I'm saying people. like I'm, no, I'm saying in like the other things. It's like oh they're gonna get eaten, but in like like cartoons like Bluey, the threat is not they're gonna get eaten. Well, that's like a new age cartoon. That's if you look true. back at like our 90s cartoons, they're gonna get eaten. There's a lot of eaten. Or like movies, like a lot of movies. Like, I mean, like fantasy, yeah. like children's fantasy films, they're like gonna get eaten. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. small animals get eaten all the time. And so the idea we of like, are prey. that carries over as a small for human is prey is, you know, understandable. Can you stop letting me just die? Yay! Can I get this? Yay! Squap, squap, squap. What the fuck was that? What are those? <laughs> I guess that explains the drop in the heartless population. Those are my Crocs. What are Crocs? Is <laughs> wearing Crocs? Can we Dude. do Organization 13 cosplays, but we're all wearing Crocs? Dude, yeah, I yeah, would like, love. Uh, I, I would love the fact of like you have all these organizations 13 members and like usually their feet are all covered uh, from their cloaks and then someone like takes a picture and then you all just lift up your cloaks a little bit to show off like weirdly differently bright colors yeah, off. We all have well, like different charms. Wait, yeah. wait, I think I can add to this. What if when when we're doing the reveal we're all like curtsying? <laughs> that would be <laughs> That's how we're revealing. Like I feel like that's just strange. <laughs> Hell yeah, I, I like it. Love it. Whee! Go right into every wall! Do I have to do bullshit? Sorry, I just threw this out of Calico. I figure out anything out of Calico. Put my right. Well, I write with my right hand. That would make sense, actually. Hold up. Nope, I don't know what that calyx has to do with. This 
Sephionia. Sephionia. Oh, she's sleeping. She's sleeping, baby. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Enemy! I told you not to pick that thing up! Dennis? 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 Oh. oh, I forgot that. I okay. Sorry. I was. <laughs> How was I supposed to know it would growl? <laughs> hey, you you asked me to do it. Oh! It's back. Squap. Squap. Squeaky boy hours. Squap. Squap. Liz, when you get to the Chain of Memories Halloween episode, you need to tell me what I was drinking because the thumbnail is me drinking either wine or cider or something. I just need to know. Okay. Alright, I will let you know. Well, one thing at a time. I put my big black coat on just like everybody else. I put my big black coat on like everyone else. Who are you watching where the guy oh, was wearing black that night? Oh, I was can. it the Scooby Doo WWE? Maybe. That was, that was a fucking nightmare. You know, I think that that, because my mom and I watched, um, the WWE, the sequel to that movie. So it's gonna be a crossover uh -huh. with WWE. And my mom and I wa didn't watch the first one, we watched the sequel, where they are driving monster trucks. Which I thought made no fucking sense. Like, they're wrestlers, why are they driving monster trucks? But then Is that rad? We just watched the, the first one with some friends, and I was like, this makes, this makes less sense. Like, they were wrestlers, and John Cena was there. And there was, like, I don't know, all the all the modern Scooby-Doo movies are such fucking theater dreams. Comment below, rate your favorite Scooby-Doo movie. Chat, what's your favorite Scooby-Doo movie? I like the one where they get alien girlfriends, but only because it's nostalgic to me. I like the one where there are actual undead. Like, there are, like, yeah, Zombie it's not island? a joke. What? Zombie Island. Zombie Island. Yeah, but, and it's like there are the vampire lesbians. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I mean, the big thing is that the movies are actual supernatural. That one is also. Well, the, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they are. Yeah, the WWE one wasn't actually supernatural. Are the you sure? One I don't also know. Wasn't. Well, it kind of. Well, that one we're not uh, sure. The kiss one fucked so hard, though. The, the kiss one is like ambiguous at most. The one where they go in the video game. Is that a uh, cyber chase? Like the one where That's that's also supernatural because like they, they go died into a video game. They died and then they well, are they resurrected. They explain it with science. Oh, but they the, die oh, and get resurrected. Yeah, but it's like Tron logic. But like they get they die. But they get like, like, the laser the beam. Logic. <laughs> Oh, you died in the video game. It's just a back save. But then also, like they, but there is like a electrical creature, right? Yeah. One, like, one version, right one version of them. Um. But it's Tron logic. Uh, one, one version it... of them. No, that's their clone. The dude died in Tron. What? Yeah, oh. he died. I don't think that that's canon. He died. Who died? Like, uh, the Tron. 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 Do, you, Tron. do you think that he, every time he got vaporized? Matt, do you think every time that people tra use the transporter in Star Trek, they are dying? Yes. Okay, well oh, that's okay. that's the disconnect. Matt, Matt's here. a little freak there, you know. They they literally pull old copies out of time to the find out what's back thing. there. They literally. My ex boyfriend wouldn't watch Star Trek because of that. That's insane. <laughs> and I was like, okay. The, the well, I mean, he was insane. The so. remains. He was a twat, so I'm not that surprised. He you was know? a what? A twat. He was a twat. Yeah. I kind of assumed that was an excuse if he wouldn't be able to handle it, but you know. Yeah, there's know there's a bit too much female representation in Star Trek. And he mm -hmm. hates women. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Matt, 
they uh, they just understand the time cube kills you whenever you teleport. Oh, I got confused. Uh huh. We got in, I got into an argument about that because yeah, my ex boyfriend kept making that argument when I was freshman in college, and then I had a class with that dude behind me, AKA Taylor, and we sat down and we were talking about that. And there was another guy who sat with us, and I hope he's doing well because I like that guy. And he was like, "Do you think every it wasn't moment?" As fun. Every moment, like, you live, you're basically, like, dying. Do you think, like, every moment from this moment to the next, the old version of you dies and a new, a new version is born? And I was like, that's deep. I don't want to think about this. Can we, can we think about calculus now? And then we listened to the calculus lecture. And we were obnoxious during the cal- Me and that good guy were fucking obnoxious during our freshman year of college calculus because, for whatever reason, the AP class we took didn't let us skip it. But we already knew everything, so we just kind of talked through the whole thing, and we definitely pissed off the people behind us. They were like, can you guys shut the fuck up? They definitely said no. that to us at one No, point. we cannot. And I was like, I'm so sorry. We sat in the front and wouldn't shut the fuck up. Like, that, that is awful. That is... No, that's awesome. That is <laughs> a power move that I could not replicate. Sorry, this... The, 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 that just sent me back into a bristle of different memory. This is kind of... This is very much unrelated, but kind of related. In a classroom in college... It just reminds me, I have a set of friends, we're sitting in the front row, and we're just doing talking, and Ooh. someone tells a joke, right? And the person next to them laughs really loud, like, laughs pretty loudly, and stuff like that. And, you know, the the, the classroom gets a little bit, uh, like, you There's know, nothing. quiet a bit, ah! a bit awkward and quiet, but then, like, the teacher's about to start. The person who laughed and says, wait, stop. Names the person. Tell the joke again, it's so funny. <laughs> and... That's and great. I did like I died internally. The other, the, one of the people that you know that was thing was also just dying internally. Like, oh my god, that's um, amazing. Uh, and and obviously it was not nearly as funny the second the time repeating it weirdly in front of the whole class. Luckily the professor was just like, okay, and we're moving on to like to to end have a swift end. But like, oh my god, the the whole stop of like, wait guys 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 wait, tell the joke again, and <laughs> like. Oh god, all the timing, all the suspense, everything else is, is fucking dead. That's amazing. It, like, it felt malicious almost at, the, at, uh, at some point of, like... My, my most embarrassing moment was I was in a college class, in that same classroom, but it was the next year. Two years later, actually. I was taking a CS class, and it was Halloween, and I was dressed as Marty McFly for the Halloween. So it's 2017. And uh, the teacher goes, nobody's dressed up for Halloween. And pauses, and I go, no, I am. I'm just as Marty McFly. And she just stared at me with the most blank expression and went, anyways. And anyway, I wanted to die. So R mean to me. Uh, so Who did? I also dressed as Marty McFly in high school for, or for the, the 2015 Back to the Future Day, and I did have one person Dude. go, are you fucking Marty McFly? And I was like, rock and roll. And that was one of the most beautiful moments. I love that. Life. Um, See, my memory, my memory from the, the Back to the Future 25th anniversary mm -hmm. is someone coming into school with the, like, whatever freaking thousand dollars. The hoverboard? Freaking Nike. No, oh, the, the shoes. shoes! The, like, future shoes That's that self-tied themselves, you know? Like, they, because I had, I was at one of those schools. <laughs> <laughs> so you had fuckers that came in with those fucking shoes, and you're just like, That's so fucking dumb. That's not gonna be cool That's tomorrow. <laughs> That's only cool today. <laughs> I think somebody else dressed up as Marty McFly in 2017. Like, I wasn't the only one. I don't know why. I, I mean, I also did it in 2015. But I don't know. I, I guess it was in in 2017 again. Because there was someone else with a work, like a skateboard that they made a hoverboard. Mm. Love Rocks is here just saying, hello! That's an onion. <laughs> oh, never mind. That's a fucked onion. Yeah. Every okay, wait, hold up. Let me look at the chat. Counterpoint: Every every moment you weren't at atomized and reassembled somewhere else, literally killing you. So true. I need to be transported. Excuse me. Every second, or I'll die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I need to kill the ten claws to maybe summon the onion? Oh, I just got it eaten. 
The self does not die. But the physical form does. No! Stop hitting the tentacles! You guys ever walking around and it's just purple? Yeah. 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 Uh, actually, oh, yeah. wait. I thought about it. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Leech Grave is the name of this creature. Fuck. Fascinating. It's a leech and it's also a grave. Oh. I never knew a leech looked Sorry. like that. My bad. I was, bad at, I was bad at video games. Not the video games. Sorry, Look Bunny. Up Bleach Grave. I want to learn more about him. He's weird looking. Ah, fuck. Can you, can you lock on, please? Thank you. Oh, my fucking god. Okay. Let's use our limit. You're finished. You're finished. Kingdom Hearts Wiki. So, so Jesse's heart. Never let the word corrupt you. What word? The word. The word of the, the anti cube or whatever. Yeah, word wordism is evil. Oh fucking! Get away! No, no, no! Please don't eat me! Please don't eat me! I'm very small. Premium orb. Uh. Have you gotten the leech grave to fall over before yet? No. All right, so. This is the strat. Destroy all of the tentaclaws, okay. which are the little spooky guys out of the ground. That will cause the leech grave to fall over, because the leech grave is immune to almost all like magic and things, so it's harder to kill him. And the closer you are to him, the more damage you'll take easily. Okay. So get rid of all the tentaclaws, and then he'll fall over and stop attacking. Use that uh, to attack him. Ow! I got eaten. Get it. If you're able to block the Tentaclaw's uh, swallow attack, it'll stun them, by the way. That's pretty swag. Um, and also using fire on the Tentaclaw's is... Uh, I didn't pack any fire! Alright, well then, never mind. It's all good. The aggression was not at you, it was a... No, I know. Lack of foresight. <laughs> you're fine. How would have you known? We don't know the name of the leech grave. Whoever came up with that name, I don't know. I didn't see Terra on, uh, on the pseudo science. That means it's real. Mm. Okay, fall over, bitch. You go. And then, yeah, I think, I guess, maybe. Yeah, there you go. Just smack him up. Wee! Wee! I'm a wee if I could fly! 
Wait, did you actually, like, did your I believe I could fly Fuck, I gotta eat go with I was shot by the ice cream guy? Yeah. Because mine was I was shot by the FBI. I, I definitely heard that one too. Yeah, FBI my, uh, and then something with the chicken wing. Oh. Uh, uh, my cousin. Yeah, because I was like, shot by the FBI. I don't remember how this person oh, is directly oh, related to me, oh, but uh, oh. this person who's related to me came up or like she sang the I got shot by the ice cream guy. All I wanted was a popsicle, but I ended up going to the hospital and I thought it was so funny. Oh. And it lives around free in my brain. I like that one. I like that version. I've never heard that version before. I don't know if she made it up. But like, she was seven, so I kind of doubt it, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. Who knows? Man, I haven't talked to her in like 27 years. I wonder how she's doing. It's kind of wild because I'm 26. Life is wild. This is not my... I, I, I know she's related to me. She's not my cousin. Not my first cousin. We also, we went to um, Las Vegas for a wedding. And she said, uh, Las Vegas stinks in reference to how much of cigarette smoke it smells like. And I also think about that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Horrible. Because it was true. <laughs> the cigarette smell was horrible. This was 2005. I must heal. I want to say she was getting like an art degree or something, but I don't know where. where. Fucking hell! A, a writing degree? I don't remember. I hope she's playing. Riding degree? That's not real. What are they gonna ride? Horses? Shut the horse get the degree. <laughs> Matt and I were um, comparing Girl Scouts versus Boy Scouts, and I was like, huh. Girl Scouts for me was really trying to empower young women with the promise of riding horses, and Boy Scouts was just a paramilitary organization. Yep. Yep. I learned how to shoot rifles from the Boy Scouts of Girl America. Girl Scouts was like, did you know that you should help your neighbors and also the climate is dying? And also, you can ride horses sometimes. And I was to like, be fair, they awesome. did have an environmental science uh, merit badge. That's yeah. good. That might have been one of the ones I got. Yay, yippee, yippee. I, I still have my sash. Let me go look at it. I think I love my parents. I showed my... Um, my sash off. My, uh, my, what was my vest? Was that a big vest? Because you get one vest for like the entire high school, I think. And, uh, oh, what fuck. And then, uh, you go through high school and you have like puberty and you like change. I didn't. Here's the thing though, Bestie. I'll stop growing in like the seventh grade. Yeah, yeah, you, but like there are other people who don't. I do like, know like women. Females you know? stop growing sooner. True, true, but like there are definitely going to be some who change body types drastically. Well, I think the vest you would just get like a bigger size, and then okay, they get would a vest. give you a bigger size. You would get a vest uh. instead of a sash, because the sash, <laughs> the sash doesn't have as much not, room. Not only is there an environmental science merit badge, the environmental science merit badge is uh, a requirement for Eagle Scout, and I got it because I'm an Eagle Scout. Yippee! Yeah. Actually, you know, I do remember that, but that is, it's a requirement of, like, you know, sustaining of, like, there is some, like... We're just going for it. Okay. The, Got um, it. the compu- I think this is computers. The computer's merit badge fucks. Of Let course me, it um... does. Oh, he become onion. onion. Onion! He's gonna blow! He wins. Is there a guy in there? That's kind of fucked. I think it might have been a skelly... Maybe a, a onion skelly man in there. I so we had to do show and tell oh. because the IB like the fucking tests they took up like they were in June, but then school ended in late May. So like we had like a month where we didn't fucking do anything. So the teacher's like, you guys got to do show and tell. So I show and told my Girl Scout vest, and I was like, oh, in this badge, it looks like my friend Kenny D Cool Beans because her mom designed it. Then the teacher asked because Ken Kenny D Cool Beans was in the period before me. We weren't didn't have the same period. And he was like, oh, do you know Jolie? And she goes, I've, I've never heard of her. We've been friends since kindergarten! A good bit, but it still made me mad. 
Okay, Jolie, I'm sending you the um. I'll just post this in uh. Ship post. Uh, tell me, tell me that this merit badge doesn't. Fuck. Oh no, that does fuck. That's the most you merit badge, except for the French part of it. <laughs> Well, that's just the Boy uh, Scout logo. Oh, the Boy Scout logo is a fleur de lis. Yeah. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, that fucks. Oh. Uh, you know, I could I could add a few things to make it more matte, but like it's pretty cool. I it mean, needs to be the, more um, beige. Yeah. The uh, electronics later. merit badge. I have, I have other f things that could kill me, but you know. The electronic merit badge is just a transistor. Like, let, let, let me pull that up. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I also went back, and apparent and, and Dennis was playing Bell originally. Oh, yeah. Like, oh. like uh, look at this shit. Okay. What was we... the... I had a I, funny voice for you Bell. You did have I? a funny voice. I did, yeah. What was I it? I also updated... I When I was going through Aladdin, I also saw that Matt voiced... Uh, Genie and Dennis voiced Aladdin oh. at one point. So I updated yeah. it under voices to putting both. Mm -hmm. I remember doing computers. Aladdin and then having mm -hmm. it taken from me and then being like, you know what? I'm okay with oh, this. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> A black coat? Creepy tentacles. Anyways, fuck yeah. those are the most me merit badges. Yes, yes, yes! I fucking got it! Least... Those are the most me merit I'm badges not the same on man my I was before. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to select state two. That's gonna fuck me one of these times. Luckily, I always hit state I should, two. I should do more electronics projects. Aren't you? Never mind. I don't know the difference. What? Aren't you always doing electronics products? Product? Well, like I, I mean, like not restoration projects. Oh, not like a project, new thing. Like, New thing, something I create from the concept, but I don't, I don't know what I want in my life. Like I guess I could have. That sounds so deep. I guess I could have just um. The squamp. Fuck, dude! Come on. What? Why are you so mean? <laughs> I did psychic what? damage from that. I, I did psychic oh damage. Oh my that. god! <laughs> Unkind. <laughs> What the so fuck is the second one? That can't be a Boy Scouts badge. Lead foot. So it's like it's like what? pelt metal. Oh. I don't think it's... That's not a real. Yeah. I don't remember that being an option. That's in not Boy a Girl Scout badge either. Hold up. Wow, we need to show the meanness. No, I don't think you should. I feel like you're 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 releasing something to the stream. I think you already said it out loud that you but I forgot. have a foot fetish. Oh, that I've created that? Yeah. Yeah. I really um, love whenever we try to get Dennis back, he just like is immune to it. Yeah. And it's good. really upsetting to me. Um, Liz, did you did you get to the point of that episode where Dennis was like, Are you the S or M in BDSM? Oh, was that that was in the the, 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 the memories. one of one of the episodes um, I was gone, yeah? Yeah, it was in the uh, and loud lack of Liz, I'm pretty sure. Okay. But you watched that one already. That was episode I two. did watch that one. I think I did. Oh, I've forgotten where did it is. Did we hallucinate it? No, I think it was in there. I watched okay. that whole episode. Because I want to watch that again because that moment is just like, hello? I will try and refind it again because I, how did I, how can I forget about that? I don't know. Like... Cause like Dennis asked nope. this question, then Matt completely checked out, and then yeah. I just go, I miss Liz. <laughs> I will, I will rewatch. I maybe I somehow jumped that, which I don't understand how I did, but I will, I will rewatch that up, that clip. Guys, Negatron is hiding under a piece of foam. Oof, he thinks he's hidden. Oh, <laughs> she's so smart. It's perfect, wouldn't you say, Doctor? Just like my new song, Weird Science. <laughs> Is this Dennis? Oh, sorry, I was looking at different merit badges. Wait, I said um, Dennis? 
Uh, I feel like I would have uh, done this, Karen. No, I, 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 no, no don't um, hit Hang on, we have the voices. We have the voices. Uh, Halloween Town. Finkelstein. 100%. Denise. Oh, sorry. My bad. Yeah, you're Matt, Matt, Sally. Isaac, Matt, Matt yeah, you're Sally. wants all my silly voiced characters. He gets all the stuff. I feel like I would have claimed Dr. Finkelstein and done a Dr. Strangelove voice. I think Dennis just started talking sooner than you did, so he got it. Ah, Dennis, Don't worry, it I'll, I'll, I'll check back ah, through the old footage and find out whether or not that's changed in the in the past. Yes, it's quite something. A harbinger of terror and torment. It looks just like a scarecrow, but look at his spaghetti hair. Doesn't yeah, I just say bring horror to spaghetti for him. The Italians love him. <laughs> uh -uh. Look at his cool corset shirt. So many laces. How's he gonna get it off and on? Stealthy and clever. It appears out of nowhere with spooky black tendrils growing out of its hands. I think it could use more belts and straps, though. Kind of looks like Jason Xander from Ascension. Under its cloak, it conceals a countless battery of bombs for the children. It's a bit of a floozy. A fiend like nobody laughed at my good joke, and that makes me <laughs> mad. A fiend like this is guaranteed to plunge everyone into the very depths of fear. Fascinating. And you plan to make this centerpiece for the, the centerpiece for next Halloween? So fucking lootly. The idea of I like your enthusiasm. Just moments ago in a big pit while I watched a kid fight a giant onion. That's fucking dope. <laughs> well, you have my full support. Let's fucking go for it. Quite another idea you've come up with this time, Jacques. My name's Jack, but I like Jacques. I think I'm gonna become French now. I can't do French accent. I'm glad you like it. I can't wait to get busy building more of them. That was German. <laughs> more JSX Xander Ascension Babies. Wait a second. Wait, that's not a JSX. <laughs> This Xander is Toxic baby. Yuri. Is this supposed to be me? Am I a J6 Xander baby? <laughs> Fuck. Oh god, I have to good. rethink my life. I'm. I can't do this anymore. Especially after reading Zexion Smutbug. I guess I'm product of Impreg? Anyways, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Roxas is kind of Jesus. He's Jabus. He has no parents. Well, that's not Jesus. Jesus had a mom. I mean, Jesus very famously had a dad. Yeah, but his dad was a divine creature that cannot be seen. I mean, I, I guess if, if, if you want to go woke, you could argue that... Jesus has two moms, or a mom and a parent. That's true. Huh? Oh my, oh my god, he's a floozy! Are you fucking kidding me right <laughs> now? <laughs> Roxas, do you have a stick? Just beat these kids into the ground. <laughs> Turn them into jelly. Again? They haven't changed a bit. You never will, fucker! I should change them into jelly, but the narrative prevents me. I like to burn. We did it. Yay! Yippee! Whoa! Whoa. Disorder. Disorder. What was that date? Seven. Oh fuck. Two seven six, I believe. Whoa. Pay attention. There's two things happening. There is too much happening. These shoes are too. Oh my gosh! Uh, wait. Okay, if we. One of these things is not. I just like thought. The okay, other. if we do organization Crocs. thirteen costumes, we have to get excessively large Crocs. Yeah. Like way too big. Oh like, the yes. The biggest thing we can find. Okay, guys, and get ready. Them. Whoa. Get, get ready for the weird cutscene. Oh, I'm so excited. Wait. Oh. Let me see if I can quote this from memory. Doing a good job so far. Shield. Shion! 
thinks he's a Xian. What? He's gonna say what? That was it. What? Yes, Xian. You, you must, must have, have known this, this was going, going to happen. happen. Why would I? Why would I know? You have hips. What? Because in your, your memory. memory You've been to a, a number, number of worlds before, before you this, came to this one. I don't remember this. And of course, this has some half life vibes. Oh, or did this come first? No, it did not. Sorry, I think it's half life too. He took shrooms and he started reading Sexion's smut book. I remember everyone from the islands. They're my. My. My closest friends. And who threw away those friends? Maybe it's your own actions you've forgotten. It was you who destroyed your home. This is interesting because this is actually a Riku memory. Yes. Who am I? Oh, fuck. What am I? I think this is a longer Here cutscene, for? but I don't remember. Maybe it's not, actually. Guys, look, it's, it's me! From Riku. Halloween! <laughs> Riku's kind of fucking cringe in this game. Oh shit! Who is nominee today? Oh, oh, um. Um. Oh god. Who wants a new nominee today? Oh, okay. What kind of silly? What, what kind of good voice? But like silly voice. Matt, just do you have any interest in doing nominee today? I wasn't sure. I don't know. No, thank you, Dennis. Okay. I'm just trying to think of like what would be more memorable, but like iconic. But she's gonna show up and she's gonna say important things. Mm -hmm. So something like both serious but also memorable. So next time I see nominee today, I can be like. I wasn't too sure of it. I see you again. Uh, she needs to. She needs to be Italian. Cause nom nom -ne -ne. I don't know. Nom -ne 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 -ne. What was um? Okay, wait. What was the null accent I did in our D and D game? Swedish. Yeah. How was it like? Oh, I'm I wasn't sweet. sure. I'm I wasn't Swedish. sure. I'd see you again. <laughs> it's a me, nom -ne -ne -ne. <laughs> I guess we need to write nom -ne is Swedish. Swedish. All right. Dennis. I'll put it in quotes. Listen, I'm putting it under the organization. I mean, at least I can believe it. She's Swedish. I this needs to be Liz. Was I was I Riku in the past? I feel like you should be Riku though. He's your favorite. All right. He's your favorite. I would I would have to be Riku. Hi, B. I need to grab P &E. What is what is this? What is this merit badge you posted here? Mm. Where? Hi. Uh, this uh, most shoe? recent one, 9:42 yeah. p.m. Yeah, I saw. I think it's a keyboard. In front well, of. I I've expanded beyond <laughs> keyboards. I've got whole machines. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, what I'm saying is that like. You still like keyboard. Like I when you were like younger, keyboards. you know, that was a keyboard. Like you know, you're yeah. not still doing Boy Scouts, but this is one that you might have gotten. You know. Mm. Okay, that's you fair. You do the keyboard, and then like. She's kind of smelly. There's a couple screens. <laughs> Yeah. I say that to her every time I see her. I go, you're kind of stank. You're kind of smelly. That's how I know I don't have toxoplasmosis. But the 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 because yeah. <laughs> she smells. What what is it supposed to be? I don't know. That's what I'm curious about. Like, seen, I don't actually know what it is. Have you seen the post of people who are like, I smell my cat and they just smell like marshmallows, like candy, and I'm like, girl, you have toxoplasmosis. Yeah, the people that come in and like grab their cat and just like huff their cat. I'm as like, soon as they come in, do I you love, do that? No, I love Fiona, huh. but she smells gross. Like she smells like like a little beast. Like she doesn't <laughs> smell like candy. If she smells like yeah. a creature. Yeah, no, my dogs don't smell that good until unless I, they've just gotten a bath and they smell great. <laughs> I don't I don't I think dogs smell bad, but yeah. I don't think cats mm -hmm. smell bad. I think they smell like cat. I don't yeah. think they smell like sweetness but, or anything. Yeah. A lot no. of people go, my cat smells like candy. Like, I like to come home and huff her, and I'm like, you have toxoplasmosis. You have a parasite. I guess I did I did see someone saying that. I saw um, a lot of people saying that. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. I don't think you guys are okay. It's been, like, really popular on, like, TikTok and things right now. Is people be like, oh, I love to come home and huff my cat. And I'm like, oh. Because I, like, hey. I, mean, I will, like, I mean, I'll sniff, I mean, I just sniffed her, but she just smells like a cat. Like, she doesn't smell. Oh, yeah. Push she... face into cat or any fluffy beast I like is that a she's very, soft. I don't very like how good. she's, I mean, I don't hate how she smells. Yeah. Well, sometimes. Well, sometimes she's real stinky. She's stank. You're stinky. But that's okay. She's purring. 
Okay. Riku. Okay. You must do your best Riku impression. You made me a promise. Oh, fuck yeah. Go get be a real sad boy. <laughs> Sorry. Just be like, <laughs> you made me a promise. <laughs> to look after Sora, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sorry. I'm a not sure. I've kept my th promise very well. <laughs> what happened? The bitch is asleep. <laughs> He's. <laughs> Some of Sora's <laughs> memories are missing. I don't know so where sad. they are. How how can that be? Well, you know, like, it's kind of complicated, but they're escaping from Sora's nobody to a third person, and, like, it, it, they're both kind of Sora, but they're both neither of them are Sora, you know what I mean? She looks like she has dark, like, circles under her eyes. Yeah. Yeah, she's tired. She hasn't slept in a year. That's true. True. And now they're starting to become part of her. You, you can't get the memories back out. This is for the baby. If they're still separate, then I think I can. I'm a smiling now. <laughs> but if you join with her memories, they can get a lot more complicated. I would need to untangle her memories before I could finish Sora's. Ugh. We both yawned at the same time. What's supposed to take months might take a years. We need chef. some good We need some good directions. These would be would be furious. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Huh. So, so well, they're both the sitting so politely. Also, Riku look already looks so old. His he looks old. real old. <laughs> if I try try to just jump in and rearrange her memory. Then I risk Sora waking up and find out that nobody will remembers him anymore. Wait, well, why would cringe. no one remember him instead of uh -huh. him remembering nobody? What? Uh, I think everyone else also forgot him because Kyrie didn't remember who he was for like a year. Oh, that's right. Uh, Except Preku. I, <laughs> I remember all my friends. Him. That would be kind of cringe. Preku's just built different. I don't know. Yeah. It's too late either way, his awakening has already been delayed. He's nuts and we're gonna be so angry. Uh, I squeezed the baby. Would you like to have a meatball? Oh, yeah. Oh shit. I never match a source, nobody and the other one would be so hard to be on their own people. Why do they want identity? Isn't that like kinda cringe? <laughs> You're like slowly devolving into, like, Irish. You are! <laughs> Unfortunately, the only real solution. Yeah, it's, it's hard to, like... <laughs> the only real it's hard. It's really hard. Oh, but you're fuck. doing great. It's for them to go both go away. What does that mean? Like, send them to a farm? That's fucking Ison. <laughs> Did you know her face was blank at first? Creepy. Only now you can see someone. Damn, you put Sora's face on there. She like, no one can tell. She picked her own. Well, she has Kyrie's face. She picked her own identity. She made her own face. Trans icon. That the proves the Sora's memories are still in, are inside her, because she doesn't. I I, I I don't know the leap of logic there, but you know it I proves it. I guess I don't either, because she's got Kyrie's face. But I I would assume she could have that. I, I, maybe it's specifically that she has Kyrie's face and not just like a generic woman's a girl. Someone face. inside her, someone inside Sora. She's not a woman. Oh, this inside Sora's nobody. Sorry, I just read an article today that said underage woman. I was like, do you mean a child girl? Anyways. Who would know her? <laughs> I can't sort it all out. All I can do is pick up the pieces. What has it all done is a done. Christ. Oh, all right then. I guess that was really confusing. <laughs> I'm gonna build some furniture. I don't know.
know if this was real. That Roxas was there. Fuck this game. Well, dude. Riku just acknowledged him, so he that was true, there. So he was there. Oh. Uh, this uh, isn't real, though. No. This can't be really not supposed to exist. <sighs> well, what do you want to do, Shion? Exist. I want to be with you two. I flash. Then come back with us. I can't. Not the way I am now. But what would it take for me to be like you? <laughs> Sad boy hours. She's all saying I want a flash. I didn't want a flash. I, I didn't want to interrupt because it's such a lovely moment, but all I could think about is like, I want to be like you. <laughs> want to walk like you. Talk like you. Like okay. Has the voice acting stopped? Wow, you're actually up here. I thought you died in the war. <laughs> no, just the arms. Been that long, huh? When Gian almost fell off this, this sucked. Yeah. I got to go to the beach today for my mission, and I had a really weird Half Life 2 esque horrible memory. I don't actually know what Half Life 2 thing the voice in my head was referring to, but there was some memory what? glitching. Yeah, you said this is like Half Life 2, but there was yeah. like memory glitching. I don't know what you're talking about. It It's like that, um, that. Uh, I guess it's cut content, but it's like oh. that human scene in the training room. I didn't play. Hey, you know, you know that Half Life Two moment that didn't happen. The, the Half Life <laughs> Two cut content moment. It was so signalistic. Do you do you do you not know what I'm talking about? Fuck! I guess I have to watch that later. There was this girl there that, who looked kind of like Shion, but she was blonde or she had red hair. I'm not sure who I'm talking about. But then there was also Sexion. But I couldn't get close enough to tell for sure. I probably imagined it. I just miss her so much. To be honest, I'm not even sure today's mission really happened. I feel like Neither I just woke up from a dream or something. And if you just believe. This is gonna sound crazy, but you know how we promised each other we'd all go to the beach? Well, I think I only saw her there because I wanted her to be there. <laughs> you want to go look for her, man? That this all this talking shit isn't making any sense to me. What? But Zemphis's orders. Ah, fuck that bitch. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's use her spare time and work to come here to try and find Shion. Hell yeah! It's a deal! Beach sounds pretty fun. I can't wait to see my friends again. Searching. Okay, we're on day 277. 368. We're about three quarters of the way through the game. So let's yep. let's go ahead and save. Okay. And then we'll go to the spreadsheet real quick. You know, we may have not made a huge amounts of Kingdom Hearts progress, but we made time cube progress. That is true. Yeah. You all yeah. learned about the time cube. We are which is one quarter of the way to unlocking the four days per day. The 424 sign out in these days per day. Does that mean anything? Hmm? You know what 7 plus 1 plus 6 is? That's 14. That's the number of members of the organization. Uh, the time cube is not. So 358 divided by 2. That's not right. 358 divided by 2. Times two. What the fuck am I writing? 
358 divided by 2 times 4. I'm... What the oh. fuck? God damn it. Okay. Same thing. 358. Is 716, okay? And then 7. 358 times 2. 7. No, it's divided by 2. Times 4. Yeah, divided by 2 times 4. Or otherwise, 358 it... times 2. Yeah. It's the same. <laughs> okay, so if you add the numbers together, it's 7 plus 1 plus 6. That's 14. You know what 14 is? That's the number of members of the organization. The time cube is real. That means racism is real. Racism, racism is real. It's real. Racism is very real, and we don't need the time cube to prove that. Anyways, so it seems like there's some memory bullshit happening. The memories have gone into Xion. They've gotten into Roxas, and the real issue is that they are they're not just vessels for the memories they have their own memories and their own personalities and i guess so that this is bullshit i'm making this up but it seems like the narrative is implying that because they have their own memories and personalities that the memories memories of sora are kind of like intertwining in there they're not just empty pots you know if it was if it was an empty pot and then you pour, pour it, let's say sora's memories are sand and then you pour sand in there you could just get well, the sand right out, right? But they have their own memories and own personalities, and that's like there was already sand in the vial. Then you pour Sora's memories, which is sand, into the sand, then you shake it up, and now you have all this mixed sand. And so it's really hard to get the Sora-specific well, sand out of there. It's more that, um, because what 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 Naminé said was like, they insist on being their own person and stuff like that. Because most nobodies are just kind of like a weird copy. Mm -hmm. Well, not weird. I should, or a kind of a emotionless copy of their you know past selves in a way mm -hmm. but but the these two insist on being their own individuals so therefore like the memories that they're based off of sora's are not mm. their mem they're, they're, they're denying being, them as they're their being own. modified they're not they're denying them as their own and they're creating their own memories like they're fucking memories memories, memories and emotion kind of mm. go hand in hand um and like they're kind of creating their own emotional connections to things. Excuse like, me. That makes sense. Okay. It's okay. They are they're kind of modifying. They're adding their own twist on Sora's memories. Yeah, their own feelings, their own heart to it. Wait, no, no, no. It's the new memories they are making with each other that forms their new personalities. This Rubix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but but like. Yeah. Regardless, the fact that they are forming their own memories and they are being their own people and they're not just being like mindless zombies is the reason it's... why Sora's memories are getting kind of McFuckled and like stuck in them. Yeah, it's causing problems. So it's... basically, guys, moral of the story, don't try and be your own person. Oh my god. Because just in case a small a young boy's memories get stuck within you. And just in will, case you were you're actually just his... a copy of a small boy. If you're a copy of a small boy, it will piss off that boy's best friend. And that best friend will goat you into killing yourself. Not goat. Goad. I'm so sorry. Um, Wait, so, goaded. He also just kills people. But like, you know. Yeah, but he's gonna... Oh, spoilers! He's gonna try to goad Xion into killing herself. Oof. It's Boo. rough, dude. It's rough. Uh, Riku's kind of problematic in this game. But to be fair, it's like... He's a child, and it's mostly Diz who's like telling him what to do. So let's blame Diz nuts. Let's blame Diz yeah. nuts. Diz nuts yeah. about and, it. And like Riku got real, real screwed up. He got really dealt the shorthand. I think Riku's just like really like I want my friend to come back. I just want my friend. I just want my I'm friend. I'm tired of this shit. Um, I've got a weird, fucked up, weird demon man inside me now. Because and... I do think it's interesting. Let's go back to the murder board. We did find this. In the end of Kingdom Hearts 2, Diz did say, like, I'm sorry. I think Diz... Didn't Diz... Yeah. Didn't he apologize? He apologized. He, he said, Roxas, I am sorry. sorry. So, like, Diz is... Diz is uh, he's a complex character. Um, and, like, at this point, it, it does seem like the choice... The choice is, like, Sora and Roxas cannot exist at the same time right now. And Xion. Xion, Roxas... And Sora can exist at the same time. Um, seems to be the thing, unless mm -hmm. you know Namine can work something out. Um, but but she says it will take years to do. But it will take years to do, and like based on what we know about Kingdom Hearts two. <laughs> um, again, this was funny to me because I didn't 
finish Kingdom Hearts 2, so I knew that bad things happened to Roxas, but, like, I didn't really, like, I didn't really, like, know. I was also, like, 13 or 12. I don't remember when I played Kingdom Hearts 2. When that game came out to the Your seven, organization 13? I was, like, 9, so I didn't really process it, and, like, my brain just, like, didn't comprehend the upcoming tragedy that is going, like, like, you know, you, if you play Kingdom Hearts 2 and you start this game, you, like, you, like, know all this shit, and you're, like, something bad is gonna happen. Like, I know... Roxas gets stuck in the data dimension. I know he doesn't talk about Xion, which you're probably going, oh, Xion's a retconned character, right? Mm -hmm. Which maybe she was. I don't know. Um, but you're going, Xion doesn't quite fit. I can't figure out how she fits. Maybe maybe there's something with her. Maybe she gets canceled by the friend group. Like, I don't know at this point. What... Xion, she gone. I don't know what you would be mm -hmm. thinking if you were... She off. <laughs> if you had a fully developed frontal lobe and you played fully developed frontal lobe hey guys i have a fun fact to tell you you know uh... that you know that statement that um or that that phrase people use a lot of the time which is your frontal lobe fully developed by the time you turn 25 i have heard okay. that that is not true it was a study they were doing a study and they were following the development of the brain a bunch a bunch of test subjects and they followed them from birth to age 25 and at age 25 the project stopped so that's where that comes from. It's people stop, their brain stops developing at 25. We don't actually know really what happens to brain development after 25. So See, I, I heard a different story that it was that same thing mm -hmm. of them, them doing the research, but they only did it, like, they did a lot of research at the time. They only did it on men. So they found that men's brains took to the age of 25 to fully develop, quote-unquote. I bet but it's then probably I think both. I, I think, no, I think they then learned for, like, women it was a different timeline. I don't remember whether it was shorter or longer. I can't remember. And I, I don't want to misquote. I've also been hearing, like, like bra the pregnancy does something kind of crazy to the brain, and we're not really sure, like, how long it takes the brain to recover, if the brain ever recovers from pregnancy. Mm. Well, um, the brain is super interesting, and there's not a lot okay. of studies. I feel like recover means like I mean I feel like it has a negative you know stigma. Well, to like it. it's well like, it changes your brain your brain chemistry. Well, it's like definitely. You, you lose a bunch of it was like you you lost a bunch of like I I don't want to quote this study, but it was like she lost a bunch of gray matter, but she gained uh. a lot of like it, it was like she gained a lot of like emotional like stuff related to emotional intelligence but she lost a lot of anyways her brain like recompartmentalized herself itself and it was mm. kind of weird um but she, she only she only had studied her brain two years after the pregnancy um you know it might make sense that you have to become less logical to take care of a baby because those shit that shit's annoying <laughs> true and you might be like this this is costing me this much money it is not worth it we can anymore. we can so to... we can put this other bullshit in the background catacombs of my brain and I, bring yeah. this other stuff forward i have heard that it's um studies about like having a baby in the brain is like it's not necessarily like pregnancy like pregnancy does do it but also if you are the primary caregiver to a baby your brain will also get fucked up fucked up in quotes your brain will well, change think... even if you are not the if, if you did not carry the baby to term if you like suddenly become the if primary you're the primary caregiver it just like will take a little longer than it that... would if you were carrying the baby to term i mean that makes a lot of sense i imagine your mindset has to change a your... lot after taking care of a human your all brain by just yourself. starts like going <laughs> <laughs> you have to raise child do not fail <laughs> yeah so like i know recover maybe that's not the right word like we don't know if the brain goes back to the way. Maybe it never goes back to the way. Maybe that's okay, you know? I don't know. The brain is weird. Um, but anyways, I did not... I was a child. I was a dumb little child. Um, I, You know, I was a smart child, but children... I don't know. My brain was going, I bet these three are going to live happy. Happily ever after, yay! I don't think anything bad is going to happen to them. I don't think they're doomed by the narrative. This is why we really got to get to to number three because I only remember snippets of number three because I never finished number three and I remember it being like we're okay, but I don't think it's gonna be okay, Jolie. I'm I don't think, scared. I don't think I don't I I don't know how three ends, but I don't think it ends well. And I'm oh, really you don't know how three ends? I didn't finish three because yeah, I was like because oh. I went if I finish oh. well I kind of know what happens like I I think oh. I know kind of like what happens I don't know why it happens. Oh, no. I am no oh, guys. Oh no, guys! I don't know oh. if I'm prepared. 
Oh. Good thing we have so many other shit more games yeah, we're gonna <laughs> before get we get there. Maybe we're gonna, sadly going to have to skip a lot Five of more games. years? Yeah. Because we do We're going to have to skip a lot of those games. Unless we take over um, Capcom and mm -hmm. uh, get some of their old... Well, we are going to play... Uh, well, we need to play Birth by Sleep for sure. Then we need to play... Um, I have the list. But we're, we're going to play Birth by Sleep and Dream, Dream Dot... <laughs> Dream, Dream Drop, Drop Distance. Those are going to be games that we play. Well, then we need to somehow salvage an MMO that no longer exists. Oh, yeah. I think we're... And then we need to play the second version of it, but it's actually a sequel. Um... I think that there are videos we can watch, so we'll probably do a watch party. Yeah, just cut scenes. But um, Birth by Sleep and Birth by Sleep is going to go here. And then um, I do want to do um, Dream Drop Distance, but I want to do it via Parsec, so one of you guys is going to play Riku. That's going to yeah. happen. Um, I don't know who would want it. Which of you wanted to I'll do that? that. Or... All, okay. all of us. We can all or, set up. Yeah, all oh my god, yes. We, we, we trade off controller. There we go. No, 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 no. no. We can each control it because all our inputs overlap. Okay, oh so god. we have two, oh pe two people play Sora, two people play Riku. One person that has pumps. the left side of the controller, and one person has the right we side could... of the controller. That's actually oh not hard God. to set up in Parsec. You could just share yeah. one part. Uh, I did do that with a friend um, at PAX. We played, uh, what's the Zelda game? It's not Birth by Sleep, Breath of the Wild. No, yes, Breath of the Wild. We played Breath of the Wild, and one of us was on the left side of the controller, and one of us was on the right side of the controller, and it was the funniest experience I've ever had that playing a video game. chaotic, Cause, but cause I love. I think I had movement. I don't remember which side was which, but I think I had movement. I just kept dying. I just kept falling off cliffs. Mm -hmm. And uh, my friend was like, oh, my God. Like, because I would just keep doing the same thing, like, insanity. I would just keep falling off the same tower over and over again. And she's like, girl, you need to jump. And I would just fall off and die. But well, it was I mean, so what did she have to jump? Funny. I can't. Or maybe if she moved if you're and doing... I had to jump, it was my fault yeah. we were dying. It was 100% okay. <laughs> my fault that we were dying, and it was just the funniest goddamn thing. Like, <laughs> like we were like I think we laughed so hard we cried. Um, <laughs> so I think that that would be really funny and really chaotic and um, make that game work fun. So that's awesome. that's gonna happen. Um, let's see. We see. Uh, gotta watch back cover, and it's the Kingdom Key and Unchained Key cutscene movies. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna watch those. Um, but I think there's two more games to play. Fiona found her fabric scrap, and she's happy. <laughs> I have a little fabric scrap that uh, uh, Matt and I two years ago made our own Christmas stockings, and I had a little fabric scrap left over, and that's Fiona's favorite toy because cats love to play with garbage for some reason. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so um, that's where we're at. I think that that's. I think that you should take a drink, Liz, when you're rewatching the streams, because I'm pretty sure I go. Well, that's where we're at, like quite a lot. Oh my gosh! I think you'll die. <laughs> take a drink at work. Dude, I will take. Watching. I will take drinks of my water or tea every time that happens. That's good. I like that. Drink Stay your... hydrated that way. Drink your water. Okay. Anyways, uh, thank you all so much for coming. Remember, Kingdom Hearts. It doesn't make a lot of sense but Dan doesn't make you feel things um like the time cube hi V after after we finish the series we should we should do a we should do a half life well, Matt we you could, can do a half life yeah you can do a half life we can do it on a different day it's yeah. so true I um I would be down to co-commentate I am not um I I lay I have played through half life one I have not finished one but I've finished two but it makes me really motion sick Wait, dude, we could I play like Half-Life multiplayer. We could play Synergy. Let's play Synergy. No, I mean, I feel like Synergy is what makes you so motion sick. No, playing Half-Life yeah, 2 wait. regular also makes me motion sick. Oh, wait, okay. but playing Synergy, yeah, I remember playing... Oh, anyways, wait, let's end the stream. Let's end the stream. Anyways, <laughs> um, uh, stay tuned. Um, Rubix, I might need to ask you when you're available for uh, a Hades 2 stream, if you want to watch a Hades 2 stream, because it wouldn't be on the same night as this, unless... Dennis is unavailable for a certain Wednesday. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more random streams of different things. And have a lovely night. Peace! Bye! Bye.